<laughs> I, I live in one of those neighborhoods where like I look out and there's the parents of every kid like on my sidewalk watching them like get candy from me. Like I can't remember any years more than like a couple groups of unattended kids. Like I you open my open my door and then I give like the adult to adult wave to them, you know, down the little hill of my front yard onto the, yeah. the sidewalk. But I've been addressing the costume that'll scare it won't scare any kids, but it'll scare the adults the most. It's gonna be a yeah. loose fitting robe. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna be blue chewed up. Oh, so, no. Oh, no. oh no. The ultimate crime. High stakes uh Hi, I'm scary. Uncle Randy. <laughs> Uncle Randy. It's like I, 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 hey, while you're all here, I was supposed to tell you when I moved in. <laughs> 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 anyway, you know, nice to meet you. <laughs> Walk in hard. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather have a see next door with a flag in his yard than than Uncle Randy. Oh Jesus. my God, I I would take any political weirdo Not because at, at worst it'd be like, hey, shut up with your foul Stalin shit. I see you whispering to my kid, or like, hey, I think you did you just teach him to sig Heil? Well, you don't that's have something. That's something between a father and a son. We don't have any kids yet, so it's, it's you know that we that I know of um, that you know. So, not really worried about the pedophile. What's he gonna do to me? You Nothing. Know? He if couldn't anything, be less interested in you. If anything, the parents would be like, "You see that house, Billy? You stay the fuck away from that one." By by coincidence, <laughs> he'll stay away from mine. I'm right here. You know, I'm sh I, I'm shielded by the pedophile. It's like those leaf frogs that will that will like get underneath a tarantula, get a little tarantula underneath them to guard their little clutch of eggs. That's what that's what the pedophile's doing for me. He's just come on, little buddy, get in here. Them kids will leave you alone with me. I see that you're hiding under his yeah. his broad. Everybody wings always looks at the negative. Hate. Everyone looks the focuses on the negatives of pedophilia, and no one wants to yes. wants to talk about the the many many pos positive. I'm I'm pretty sure that's how the Greeks invented math. One boy, two boy, you know, three boy, four. Well, you'll just go over to Boogie's Twitter, and then you'll feel smug again. I'm going to read from it now. <laughs> Please October 31st. I'm scared shitless. It's interesting that he did this around Halloween. So mm. I had Mike Klum film me at my worst and my best. I admit to my biggest mistakes. I hold myself fully accountable. And if you make it to the end, I hope you can see the hopeful message in it. Link below in response for the premiere. And then it's got like, it, basically he's made himself a documentary about himself. He's made an audio, auto biography uh, <laughs> and um it's called the dark sad life of boogie again he named it i'm sure <laughs> mm -hmm. and there he is in this thumbnail looking real down and out and there's a countdown seven isn't that the, days isn't that the, oh, I dark and sad isn't that like the netflix text of some horror show yeah it looks like they're, they're trying to look like that they're on netflix like they're a thumbnail next to uh tiger king or some shit what could he possibly confess to at this point yeah, well i don't think we want to play that game <laughs> <laughs> we were just that. talking about pedophiles <laughs> but, uh yeah what new information could boogie possibly like i feel like he's just going to rehash the stuff that we've watched for a long I, time my guess would be that he's going to sort of open his heart up and share the darkness within you know his sort of inner thoughts and and uh um you know issues and and all that stuff maybe talk about being abused as a child and how if it yeah. if it op if the opening scene is dramatic and then black and he, white like, is if i just i hope he's wearing eyeliner during <laughs> <laughs> during the i hope video. that he's occasionally played by an actor like you know unsolved mysteries and that actor is like you know a good 230 pounds lighter than him yeah yeah, yeah. Just like, is that supposed to be boogie? That guy's ripped. <laughs> Dude, I would do that. I have someone way, way taller than me to reenact me. But yeah, I don't know what the fuck boogie is up to nowadays. What is his? What are you doing on YouTube, boogie? What well, he you? had that. He had that big win boxing windfall. <laughs> well, the big boxing loss, getting well, you get, smoked you paid up either the way. ass by wings. He paid either way. He knew he was going to get beaten up. He knew what was going to happen. He may not have known it was going to be quite that bad, but it was. The writing was so on the wall on that one. It's not like when two professional athletes go at each other and look, hey, that guy's job is also knocking people out. It's not like that. You know, it's mm -hmm. it was never going to go any other way. Sometimes two kids go out at the playground and 
you can run it back a hundred times. I Billy's gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> yeah. 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 It, it, Boogie's gonna lose that every time. If I'm Boogie though, I sometimes you think you have a chance. You know what? If this goes right, if I land the first shot, like it say you're better than me in Mortal Kombat, but somehow I get your health meter halfway down, you know? Just caught you unaware. Yeah. I'll I'll give Boogie the credit that he did he knew based on how his first punches were thrown. Like there's no way he was barely able to raise his arms for yeah. a sustained amount of time. He wasn't able to raise his arms for the whole fight. He was walking like the, his gloves had lead in them and they were constantly yanking towards the ground. Like he knew That's I have his, no shot. This is his goodbye. Well, he's not gonna off himself and he's not gonna quit online. So goodbye. What does that even mean? You know? I think it's oh. just a way to get attention, but it's a, it's an online shit. Everything's to get attention. No revenue. It's entirely free. I'm soliciting no donations. It's not about the money. It's my swan song. Kyle added that. <laughs> no, no, it, it no, no. I, oh, I, read I, didn't, that. I didn't read the swan song part. A oh, actually, appearance. Zach highlighted it in blue. Or yeah. Final act or public statement. I don't buy it. I don't think this is going to oh. be his final thing. I feel like this is a well-worn YouTube tactic. The I'm leaving, the teary apology. Like, like the, it, these are tropes at this yeah. point. Dude, every YouTuber is, is Michael Jordan when it, comes to, <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to retiring. There's five you know, false starts and, and take backs and nut -uhs. Like, just <laughs> constantly going back on it. And the, this will be no different. Like, what what's he gonna do? Like what other job not, can he do? I look forward to fast forwarding through it and um and I look forward for any, to you summarizing any interesting it for points me. <laughs> of it. Yeah. You know, I'll have to come back. If there's anything interesting, I'll let you guys know. But I'll um, watch it for real. Hey, it that's, that out. tweet about it where he's claiming, you know, he's not making any money, that just people don't do things for, for free. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like, like why'd you write a musical? Yeah. <laughs> Basically, why'd you write a musical, thing? Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you write the musical? Bull fucking shit. There's always a motive for everything. You don't just mm -hmm. do things. It, being no, not you don't make a documentary. <laughs> you might make a sandwich because you're bored. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna you make, don't a whole make a documentary. fucking documentary. You know what I mean? Especially not one that like seemingly is gonna reflect very badly on you. Like if I had a documentary filmed about myself that I was in complete control of. And my oh. response, and my sincere response, not the not the drum up response, was like, "I'm scared shitless. I shouldn't have said, made up all those horrible things about mm -hmm. myself for attention." Like, you'd shut that down. Yeah, of course you would. Um, you, know, you, you don't want people thinking that you're actually a drug smuggler, you know, cartel affiliated guy, just because it would no. get clicks for a day. No, and that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna pump up some stories about how he got a fight at, in a fight at Circle K, and some guy mm -hmm. got scared. And that's mm -hmm. that's going to be about it. He, that he and like, him, like it, wanting apologize and admitted that was untrue and unbelievable on our show later on, right? I think that I believe yeah. he did. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we got to forgive him there. Forgiveness. Yeah, I kind of needed that too because it, it I, irritated me that he came on and just like lied to me the unbelievable lies. <laughs> I think I was not okay with myself. For nodding and being like, what happened next? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> and then what? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, punk I wanna... him good. You <laughs> <laughs> be... got him. And then, and then everyone clapped. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy and the and the the retail worker said, and, and son, you can have all the Charleston shoes you can carry. <laughs> and so I did. You know, two Charleston shoes. <laughs> and that's how I got a lifetime supply of gasoline. Gasoline, I just, yes. I, I, I think we've only called people out a couple times. You know, normally you're just trying to be polite. And mm -hmm. and, and you certainly don't want to call somebody out and then they show you like a fucking bullet wound scar or like or like yeah. where a shark took off. He's like, actually, and he takes his arm off or something. <laughs> like, you don't look like a, yeah, it was much of a shark attack and he's, he wheels back and he's just a, he's just a top yeah. of a person or something. There'd be no so, way to come back from that. You'd have to be like, well, it seems like I'm right. You aren't much of a seaman. You, you got dominated out there. Like you, <laughs> you lost. You know. No wonder uh, your boat sank, Mister. A series <laughs> sweep, like a bunch of no hitters from the shark to you. Like that's but, what happened. But you know, the one guy who was talking about his somebody stabbing him, his dad stabbing him in the stomach with a knife. Like that's just a serious thing. Yeah. If someone stabs you in the stomach with a knife, you know, there's lots of valuable shit in there that you can't stab with a knife without dying or. Or getting hurt real bad. Yeah. 
I don't think Show we had me. the time to delve into that very much because we couldn't figure out how to rob a jewelry store. <laughs> that was the same guy, right? Am I? I don't think so. I think I, I remember oh. that being a younger guy. Um, yeah, two different, two people. different people. It, it blends yeah. in. I remember yeah. the of all those guys, the only one who didn't end up having like at least some fun content come out of it was the producer guy. Oh, like, he was he was the only one who literally gave nothing like didn't want to talk about anything didn't want to invest like we are trying to let you explain what your job is in the context of your netflix series like oh it's really just a self-insert this is embarrassing and then <laughs> like no yeah i watched <clears throat> i tried to watch that shit later and it was just so so awful it was so awful it oh the bad. the self-insert shit i i I never watched the show because I wasn't the target demo, but you know, Powerpuff Girls, yeah. they made a remake of Powerpuff Girls, I guess, recently in the past few years. Mm -hmm. And one of the writers kept writing a clear self insert of himself into the story as like a lover or, or like a dating, like Blossom, one of the Powerpuff Girls. Zach, put, throw that picture up. You know, hopefully you're already looking for it because it's like a writer for the show who got brought on. And as soon, apparently, this is what the meme said, as soon as he got brought on, this other character starts getting in injected into it. And he looks just like that guy, except not jacked. He's uh, mm. the real guy is just a glasses wearing dweeb, or seemingly. And he just yeah. continued to make himself the write in date of blossom or buttercup or cherries i don't know what the third one's name is i don't know what any of the names show. are because i don't you know i'm not a little girl or anything but uh but that's odd that's odd it that's is. not as odd as that one guy um was it i carly or something it's the one with the ketchup the foot on guy the, feet. the yep. foot guy dan I schneider don't, i don't know how i feel about foot people is it always sexual or or is sometimes it, it, it just this other weird kind of thing where their dick doesn't have to come out i then i'm okay with it a little more I think it's sexual at its core, right? Like, you know, the way someone really enjoys a hot fudge sundae sometimes. And, you know, it's like, they, I treat myself once a year. Oh, it's so decadent. Like, maybe that's how he is about sticking his He treats himself a, once a year to 11-year-old's feet. Well, then, online. yeah, he just he, he stops by while the kids are in the pool and takes all their socks, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Man, this guy's the worst prankster ever. It's the same fucking prank every single time. Just sniffing socks. Like the, he's like he's just like head head buried in the cubbies at Oshkosh Bigosh. Oh, and I don't want to. Um, I didn't want to spook you, Kyle, or interrupt. But there is a bug on the wall behind you. It's a mosquito. I saw him. He was here earlier. I think. Oh, that's probably not a very scary bug. Okay. No, it's a big ass mosquito though. Um. Oh, Ch I sent a picture the other day. Chiss says it wasn't a mosquito, that thing that attacked me the other day. He said it was like a mosquito egg-eating insect, but it had this huge proboscis on, the, mm -hmm, on it mm -hmm. coming out, like a huge one. Oh, and like a mayfly-looking thing? Big, though. Like, it must have had a wingspan of two inches. And it, I, I started recording it because I was shocked at how big it was. It was in my house, and it came right at me, like, aggressively. It's like... <sighs> And I hit it with the camera phone while recording the video and down his ass right there. And then zoom in like, you got knocked the fuck out. It's a <laughs> you got like, to you gotta, you gotta, you gotta watch my videos. <laughs> <laughs> well, it gets, it gets lost in the mix between like, I'm like, all right, this is clearly a beheading. Like, <laughs> there's, Dude, there's like pieces the of a dead guy. Uh, from oh, look, a fight view. where one of the it's participants not, is a car. Yeah. All right, so, yeah. so here's one I know you didn't watch. I sent it to you today. And I added a little text. It said, ha-ha, the Israelis bombed some Cabbage Patch kids. Because what it was, it was Hamas propaganda. Look, all things aside, this little window was Hamas propaganda where they they were pretending like they had dead babies, but they were clearly baby dolls. Like, you well, can tell friend. the dick. And it was... <laughs> what was that? Did you hear that? I don't that? know. I, I, mean, I, I heard I was, something. I was, yeah, that was me. I went to your YouTube channel and then I was about to say, I heard a hello, my friend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You did. I, you know what's crazy? It's like, why the fuck is my thing feeding my thing? I guess that's how it works. <laughs> no <laughs> worries. Um, because anyway. you're like, you got to watch my videos, and I'm like, oh, I wonder if he's fucking uploading it. No, I'm, like, I'm sitting now realizing the thread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I'm PM yeah. them shit. But, but like, if you don't click that video, you might think I'm making a joke about actual dead babies, which I wouldn't do. That's too dark even for our little chat. I got other chats for that. 
So if you, <laughs> if you click it, you see, oh, look at that. It literally is a cabbage patch kid with rub, you know, wrapped in a blanket and with some schmutz on its face. Like, like, look, if I lay a certain way, you think I was dead too, right? Like you can make yeah. a cabbage mm -hmm. patch kid look like whatever you want. So, um, you know, you got to click all my videos. It's, it's high quality content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's just I'm a media aggregator, okay? There's too <laughs> many dead people in your clips. I'll say it. Agreed. The last time. Yeah, I bet about, you can't name more, the last time there's silly dead, ones. I you bet you can't even name the last time they, I sent you a clip of a dead person or a dying person. You mm -hmm. sent me a clip of the Phillies game 7 final score and that's worse. You know what, Woody? I only did that because the way WhatsApp saves pictures the other day, you sent me a picture when the Phillies beat the Braves, and you said, "Welcome to Philly, game. bitch." <laughs> I didn't say like anything. A Philly fan. <laughs> and, and then my phone said, "Memories from one year ago when you did it last year." The same, <laughs> and, and you had it was literally you with the same screenshot when you oh, guys so beat us last funny. year. Same thing. So I I didn't put any text. I said go Rangers, and then I sent the scoreboard of the of the. Yeah, that was hurtful. I can't believe the, you did that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so, I'm all in on the Rangers now for very respectful on Team Hex. Yeah. Yes. I have a question for you guys. Hypothetically, right. you're a girl, right? Mm -hmm. You're on a date with this guy, and it turns out he's a foot dude, right? That's mm. his thing. Do you lower your standards to let him off? for how much you have to like him, right? So just hear me out, I'm not really in the single scene, but like if you're a girl and you're gonna fuck the guy, then you probably have to really like him or at least at some level find him attractive and cool and whatever. Sure. Blow him, maybe a step lower, right? You know, like you, you wanna like the guy and he can't be gross, but you might blow someone you won't fuck, at least not yet, right? Feet stuff, that's like, easier than hand job or at least it should be See, girls should be handing out like use my feet for masturbation inspiration like a hug no yeah. i yeah so um i've actually there talked to girls about I, i've actually man. talked to girls about this and the, and some girls i'm sure feel that way but i think what a lot of girls think is feet are so creepy like the last thing in the world i'm going to do is sit here like let you like jerk off on my feet like like no i don't want part of that that's most girls feel that way that that's some, that that's odd i yeah. think that the most of the it's positive reinforcement that these gentlemen get comes from women who are paid to give it because by and large women don't want i mean they might want you to lick their feet but like th there's no ladies that want you to like like fuck their toe gap or whatever or like put your feet together yeah. like like this or whatever whatever those that's people strictly do. a guy I think, I, i'm not into feet and it's one of the kinks i can't understand oh, right mm -hmm. like it it i'm not really a big boob guy but i get it i get it i can see how people would be um i'm not really a big like fat ass guy but i get it i get it. like i can see the appeal even if it if, if it's not my like bullseye mm -hmm. feet actually a little yucky to me it, it, oftentimes a touch crusty probably the dirtiest party not the dirtiest part of your body that might be your butthole or something but they're right they compete right you you take your feet you wrap them in like heavy cotton and put them in shoes all on day average yeah. it's the dirtiest part of your by body. the time you get home <laughs> from your work hands dirty too. it's yeah yeah but you clean them right away yeah true you're stomping around with those filthy feet all the time you step in and, something you're like eh it, it, it would I, be comparable to my hands if I wore work gloves all day long because I wear shoes all day long, right? My yeah. socks are not sweet smelling if I take oh, them that's off what at they're the after, end of the day. Though. They want that stink. They want those pheromones. I bet there's a whole gamut of the feet guys who some of them probably are like, oh, those clean feet, that's disgusting. Give them to me all sweaty. And then other like, ones I, are like, I'm a foot guy, not a weirdo. Clean them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah, I don't think women that I understand it because my, when I think about it, I'm like, I guess like cute feet are cute on a cute girl but what i'm really thinking is like anything on a cute girl is cute so it's like it's like your gloves are fucking cute like you know what i mean like like you're yeah. so fucking hot anything attached to you is fucking hot like when i see that selma hayek, hayek clip uh and from dust till dawn where she pours the liquor down her thigh down mm -hmm. her foot into quentin tarantino's mouth it's like yeah i'd love to do that too i'm not into her feet i'm just into selma hayek yeah <laughs> a really <laughs> hot girl it, this is the thing that it catches my attention They'll grab some outlandish belt, right? It could be a big fat cowboy belt buckle. It could be rhinestones. I don't know. And if the girl's hot enough, she makes that belt rock. 
You know, like that's that's what they can bring to the table. Whereas if you put that same belt on fucking Lizzo, <laughs> it's not hot. Yeah, need it's a, a bracelet. Mm. <laughs> it's a bracelet. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. the foot thing, like I don't notice, and I think this is probably the the if you're not into feet, like I don't notice a woman's feet unless they are like noticeably small or noticeably big. Like I, she has to have feet way on either end of the bell curve for me to be like, that, oh, I what's like going on? She has huge feet, or she has tiny feet. Brightly painted toes, like if they're on display, like I could be like, oh, look at that, she's all done up. I'd be that as like, oh, she's she likes to to beautify, a little beautification, making right? herself look nice. She's probably you know all trimmed up down there also. See immediately, I'm I'm, I'm going. To <laughs> yeah. else that's that's how I know you're not a foot guy. Feet. You're like, yeah. oh, I'm going to draw some inferences about shit I do care about. Yeah. What does your pussy look like? <laughs> yeah. Why can't you just be a normal guy? He's into pussy, you fucking weirdos with your feet. But also, like, it's, is it the most innocent little fetish ever? That's it seems where I was so non sex. Like, if, right. Because if I was like, if, if I was a gay guy and I'm hooking up with some dude, some sexy guy, mm. and he wants to beat off on my feet, yeah. I, you know what? Actually, I, I'm convincing I think he wants myself to in him. this I, in in this thought experiment right now. I've changed my mind. Like no, I, he wouldn't, wants to fuck I wouldn't your feet. like. He it. wants you to like like you, you lay on your stomach and then no, you could probably lay like, like lay on your back, but kind of bend your knees up and and, and put your feet together to make like a, a, a pussy. And then and then he grabs your ankles and he fucks it. That's yeah. what's happening. Yeah. And I'm, and what am I doing the whole time? I'm just laying there. Yeah, you're laying there. I'm, he's moving my leg like around like, he, like he's changing me like a toddler. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> you're exactly like that. This is hypothetical Woody gay man, right? You take me out to dinner. Oh, Dr. Scholes, give but it to there's me. no spark, right? You've taken it out to dinner, but there's no spark. I don't want to fuck you. I don't even want to blow you because, look, I, I don't think there's going to be a second date. But I am appreciative of the fact that you paid. So if you're a foot dude, let's dance. Women don't think that way. That's never happened once in the history of, of women and men existing. This is gay yeah. Woody. <laughs> this is never happened. Like, there's no way that. gay guys would get to the point where they're like, oh, you're in a foot stuff? All right, I'll, give me a foot fuck real quick. Like, there's no way that's on the menu. It just no. happened. <laughs> it just did. It's fantasy. Like, it just, long -held fantasy. I just want to fuck your feet. You have Wouldn't Johnson's it? baby oil. No, so, <laughs> then I'm out. I'd feel like I would need something else to be doing. Like, I don't want to be just laying there while he's jacking himself off with my feet. And I feel like women would feel the same way. Some Taylor, guy I'm going to expect a little there. dirty talk. I can't get off the gist of your yeah, feet. You're supposed to be what do I do with my off? hands? I got both hands open. I can't even reach down to it. Am I, am I going to uh, help? You got to put your hands on you're, your own you're, dick. You're working his nips. You're working his nips. <laughs> oh, so now I'm like now I'm like making my upper back sore because I'm leaning yes! forward. Uh -huh. Yes! This is about him and his power. And he and his power <laughs> over me. And then yes, he's and gonna want feet. me to talk dirty while he comes on my my nasty fucking feet. And on the and like like the whole time on repeat, it's playing these boots from May for walk, and and that's just what they'll do. And he's just like, oh fuck. Only yeah. that line. Yeah, over there. <laughs> it's, a it keeps, it's a mix. Keeps yeah. cutting out and back in like a horror movie. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't think I most women want uh, you to jack off on their feet. And to Kyle's point, it's going to be what what they would call a red flag of oh this guy wants to beat off on my feet on our yeah. first tinder date. This guy's yeah. a fucking weirdo. If he's exposing this to me day one, yeah, what's lurking under now the surface? Now you're just being hurtful. I'm well, just I don't like you whistle. associating the feet with other like awful things or but 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 yeah I, I feel the same way like if a I don't know I don't want to be spending a whole lot of time doing that I was really hoping that you just liked getting your pussy eaten or something yeah, <laughs> like the normal stuff yeah like, you know like like I'm okay with doing some some other stuff but like is a cornerstone to your sex life foot stuff that's the real question is this like a weird Saturday night or is this every time I got to get out the foot lotion? <laughs> like, yeah. like, like, am I going to have to pay that. for your pedi your pedicures so that I don't get a hangnail? And it would make me self conscious because I'd be like, I never really thought if my feet looked good or not. Like now I got to pop my feet off, and this guy's a foot connoisseur. He's going to oh, be no, judging it's about my humiliation, feet hard. Taylor. No, he wants some rough. He wants. He some wants. Working. Wait, he wants to be. Is it humiliating to me or to him? He doesn't care. Or is it both feel. of us? <laughs> 
<laughs> he, he's he's a bit of a psychopath, so he doesn't care how you feel at all. But it's oh, it's okay. all about him being humiliated by your dirty, dirty straight man feet. Oh well, then no, no, I would not like that at all. It, that's yeah. just a, that's just bullying. Oh, your feet are so disgusting; it gets me off because I'm being humiliated. I'm like, whoa, I'm right here taking your load, <laughs> bud. Like I'm, not, <laughs> no, I'm right here on my back, legs up in the air. <laughs> I'm just I'm picturing trying feet to trying. To, okay, they're, they're never just, mind. <laughs> they're just not pretty, uh, you know. No. I mean. I mean, even pretty feet just aren't very attractive. The utilitarian anyway. parts of the body, like I only notice them on really anyone. What about unless, armpits? Like, could you could you, you could you could you do some weird stuff to an armpit? I'd rather yeah. not. Like, I'd rather, there's so many better. I'd places. be down. I'd be down to get in there oh. and look around. If there yeah. wasn't. I, it, it, I would rather lick a. Girl's you gotta be armpit careful. You ever lick an armpit mine. with deodorant on it? It's it is the worst. Shockingly ah. dry. Ah. How so, did you, no. <laughs> It doesn't so, smell you, like morning mist. <laughs> deodorant on your tongue is one of the most uncomfortable things ever because your tongue needs to be wet to do its job. But deodorant is, you know, very the good at preventing that from happening. So yeah. you just—I remember once my sister sprayed spray deodorant in my face and it got all in my mouth, and it was the worst sensation ever. I, I can think, I can taste it right now. I can taste it right now, and that was twenty-five years ago. <laughs> were you like, were you like a cat, where you're just like. <laughs> I, 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 I was just did you deserve this room. abuse? No, she yeah. always escalated to weaponry so fast. Okay, like, okay. I thought like, I actually it, thought you were gonna be like, yeah, it, it was justified. God, an argument with her would immediately like because she is two years younger and a and a girl. So if if it does get physical, I'm gonna win. But she would immediately go to like knives and stabbing weapons, like the Terminator. She's just. Mm. What were these fights over? Like you weren't like remote she, control. Think you were sharing the remote control. So back then we had satellite, not cable. I don't even know if cable would. I guess you need multiple boxes. Box was like seventy five bucks a month just for the box, and the, no, it wasn't. I don't know why it we was just probably that you box. were a little remote. Yeah, most remote people have satellite, or at least they did. My grandparents always did, and they were in the middle of nowhere. They they couldn't there get was, cable out there. Well, there was one. Um, my my point is there was only one remote in one box, and we did not want to share that. We had she wanted to watch like. Blues Clues or some sort of Nickelodeon shit that she was already way too old for. Mm. <laughs> and I was like, like, it's like, you're eight years too old for this shit. I don't want to watch this. Like, and it's it, like Blues Clues is like toddler shit. You're like learning your alphabet. And she's like in high school watching this shit. And I'm like, fuck no. Anything but this. CNN, Fox News, fucking a and &E. But please, yeah. can I just watch my mystery stories or whatever I want to see? Yeah, put sports no. on literally anything. But no, the it would be a fight. Show. It'd be a fight, and I would end up usually hiding in a room because what am I going to do? Like beat her up? She'll stab me though. So what was the biggest stabbing stabbing implement she ever threatened you Did with? She grab a steak knife or something like like you know like a mm. like a personal steak knife. You'd use it. Yeah. Like not like the big butcher knife, but she would grab a steak knife. All the blues clues. There were lessons it, it, in blues clues about like not being violent. It wasn't even about like stabbing though. She was throwing. She would throw dangerous things, and, and and women do that. I feel like because they feel like, oh, I just threw it at him. Like what? Like it doesn't count. It doesn't count. I didn't mean right. for it to go in his eye. I didn't hit him. <laughs> I used a range attack, which is socially yeah. acceptable. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not responsible for what happens if I throw it at somebody and it kills them. Like she she was she the, would just throw a fucking knife at you. The way a chick threw a throws something, night. you can't predict it too. She threw a fork at my foot one night and somehow it stuck like like prongs first and mm. went into my foot so deeply i had to pull it out it was like a, it was a good fork and oh there were three holes it was a four prong fork and there were three bloody holes in my foot because it kind of went in at an angle it well what, what were you doing did you not report this to the authorities your parents and like get them to be like hey sister what am i gonna do on? this was like an argument over the microwave yeah and she escalated it to blood that's you, you got you were talking we were driving her. to school one day, and she pulled out a switchblade and just stabbed it in my car seat. Oh, well, th why? Just why not? All right, Wait, I'm starting to is, see why you guys I'm aren't trying close. to understand your car seat. <laughs> are you a child in a car seat, or are you an adult who owns a car with seats in it? I'm an adult who owns a car with seats in that motherfucker. Oh, well, that's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 16 years old, driving like. A Ford, a Ford F one fifty to school with her in it. I'm driving her to school, and she goes <laughs> and like stabs it between us into the goddamn seat. And you're like, oh, thanks for ruining my seat just for a second. What do you do? 
<laughs> like, it's not even technically my truck. You know, daddy bought me the truck. Like, what am I going to do? Yeah, I'm going to tell owner when I get home. That's all I can Grab do. the fireplace poker and teach that bitch a lesson. No, she's a rough she's customer me. is all I'm saying. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what does her like? Did, is she like, yeah, I, I went to zero to 100 a little too quickly. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I, I was probably antagonistic. I, I'm, I'm not trying to act like I wasn't. Mm -hmm. um, but Jesus Christ, she's a rough customer. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious my like nothing like even approaching that ever happened with me and my brothers like because well, no you, your brothers you can like sock each other if things get go too far i'm i'm I, I just have to walk away that like i said i didn't get i she had that nintendo 64 I, I could only play when she was like on a sleepover to some girl's house i could play a little paper mario and then wrap the cord just right and tuck it away so she doesn't know <laughs> 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 your guys anti-sharing rules at your house that doesn't make sense to me that that would have been like my that dad would have me. like punished me if like if i got an n64 for christmas or something mm -hmm. and it came out two weeks into it that my brother was like hey taylor hasn't let me play even once even though he said he would my dad would be like is that true you've just not let him use it at all you've said no even when you weren't using it you wouldn't let him use it okay you're not using it for the next two weeks it's only him no, that's like fair. my dad would have done some Solomon shit like that. See, I think it's hmm. fair. I'm, I, I do think our way was right because I wasn't going to let her on my ATVs or I wasn't going to let her shoot my rifles. I wasn't going to let her put on like the sunglasses or the goggles or the use my paintball equipment. And those were the things that I would get for Christmases. Like my Christmas present would be, I don't know, we had like maybe a thousand dollars a kid budget or something like that. And, and we kind of had that broad number in mind as kids when we, they would get us these big toy books that's mm -hmm. just, oh, man, I can't tell you. I, I bet they don't even make them anymore. The Toys R Us catalog. Is yeah. like, I'm pretty sure it's what it was. And as a I'm kid, sure they don't make you, that anymore. You'd circle them. Not. They're Good. adding more brick and mortar stores like now. Uh, some They're trying to make a comeback. Good. Uh, so maybe you can just like, like but, but yeah. for the longest time, maybe the last 20 years you couldn't. But as a kid, that catalog was full of just. Oh my god, a new this and a new that and just all every cutting edge uh like oh, laser moon tag. Boots. I was big into laser tag and anything with lasers. And uh so what I'm getting at is I would be like, that shit breaks. That shit's plastic. And and I would want a gun or I would want mm. uh like a four wheeler. So it's like, can I just get a four wheeler? And it's like, well, four wheeler costs more than a thousand dollars, and it's like three thousand dollar four wheeler. Okay, well. I've got this much money. How about I give you my five hundred dollars and you go get a four wheeler and I make payments on it by working for mom or you know like mm. I'd work something out. But I wasn't gonna. So her sixty four was staying in her room and and I understood that. So, but she was a shithead anyway. Yeah, I wouldn't let you play the N sixty four even though you would let her ride around in your four wheeler. Absolutely wouldn't. No. <laughs> no. Fuck off that shit. No. <laughs> we mostly had go we had golf carts a lot. My dad uh, always we had two or three golf carts that we'd ride around the property. I was thinking about that recently. That was so much fun to cruise around on those, and I mean oh, inevitably yeah. wreck them a little bit and learn how to drive. And it was really good for learning how to how drive. Did you wreck them? Tip them? Ramming, the just running into shit. I remember ramming into each other. One of them was a true was a four wheel golf cart, and one was three, and so that thing's really unstable. Oh, a three wheeler golf cart, so you could get that thing doing these doing some wonk, wonky stuff by flicking the wheel back left and right. And you know, we're eight years old; we didn't give a shit about. Were you on like a gravel road or something, or just <clears throat> like, like driving on a on the in the field? I feel like they wouldn't do well in a field. I mean, we kind of lived cart. in a field, you know, like like it's just you walk outside and there's just you can kind of, it's it's a field basically with a driveway to it but i mean a golf like a golf cart would suck in a field wouldn't it it was it's smooth enough no, dad's it's got, it's got, it's got a tiny little wheel not not i mean like it's meant to be driving through like a fairway or like rough which is like <laughs> a, a week with the wheels a little mowing. bigger than the ones you see on the like the only thing that would ago. stop it would be the creeks um the but the golf carts would go just about everywhere as long as you get into rough terrain I can remember distinctly how much speed we'd get up to to go up certain hills because the chicken houses are built on these uh, big flat pads that have hills that drop off sharply on the ends, and you have to get maximum 23 miles per hour to <laughs> like hit that thing at the bottom and make it to the top. But yeah, those things were fun to kind of learn how to drive as yeah. a kid. I remember playing on four-wheelers on the farm and my grandparents constantly. Like, that was the thing I was most excited about. That or paintball in the woods, like spending... 
a huge amount of hours building a fort for like attack and defense and then doing paintball with like any friends that came down there or my brothers or whoever. But I remember my mom was like big on like, <clears throat> all right, you're right. Taylor's six years old. He's ready for his first ATV, but you're going <laughs> to, you're going to put a, that was when I got my first ATV. I was same. Six. And yeah, uh, same. he was Maybe like, five. And my, my grandpa sold it where he was like, shit, I'm going to put a governor in there and screw it in. He can't go any faster. And then, I, my mom bought it and was like, oh, okay. And my grandpa did put a little, because it was a screw. You had like a screw that was screwed into the side of the little thumb pressing ignition area. And then yep. it kept you from accelerating. So like you, you couldn't jam it down all the way. It would just go halfway or however long. And over like a very brief amount of time, the rattling of the ATV shook that screw loose, but it never would just fall out. And so like I would go out to ride and I learned that you do a little lefty Lucy on that bitch. <laughs> now you're flying out there because it was it was like a kid's atv in that it was smaller but mm -hmm. it could still go as fast as a normal atv it's still 150 cc it's still a, it's still really <laughs> like I, I, there, it was not i shouldn't have been riding around as fast as i did when i was like six but i never had a bad, I, like fall or anything i wonder if things i had a since then. do they still let six-year-olds have atvs like i don't yeah. know <laughs> like, like back in like the 70s right and 80s year. People had freedom to go places in in the way that is a, not a normal way to raise kids anymore. To just be like, yeah. open the door in the morning and say, don't come back till sunset. That's yeah. not what people do nowadays. Yeah, I feel like I was at the very end of that, like mm. where my parents just kind of did the that. They were like, hey, no, it's, it's not, you know, until it's dark out, it's an outdoor day. It just fucks I, around. I think that, like, where do you go now without the malls? Like, now that there isn't a mall, you know, two or three malls in every town with like a movie theater and a galleria and, you know, food court and arcade and a bunch of shit, a big fountain just to sit around and like meet people and hang out or something. I don't know where you're supposed to go. Exactly. Because you could when do I that was, at the mall without spending a shit ton of money. You could go hang out, get a little food, maybe buy a, you know, hat or something. I but now, the where are kids going? But it was much more common to go to the woods, build forts, uh, try to build shelters. Um, what else did we? We rode bikes a lot, played Dungeons and Dragons, someone else's house. Yeah, uh, we were more woods know. kids too. Like the mall I, was fun when, like, it, the mall wasn't fun yeah. until like I got my driver's license, and then it was like, oh, I can pick a girl up and then take her to the mall, which has a theater in it, and so we can go, you know, see a movie or whatever. The whole like getting dropped off at the mall in middle school was cool for like two hours until you're like, well. I don't really have any money, and now I'm just kind of at the food court with a bunch of other 13-year-olds with no money. You're and right. We're probably bothering everyone. I have eight quarters and <laughs> eight hours. <laughs> no, I knew gonna... I shouldn't have hit Sarku Japan twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that good at video games. I can't. I can't stretch this for eight hours. See, I would have liked that. I never. I was too young for the arcade thing, but I Ooh. always thought the arcade would be fun to, to yes. go mess around in. Dave and Buster's it's, is the closest I've gotten as an adult. Yeah. Dave and Buster's that's, that's super a, expensive. Is it? It is. Yeah, for what you're doing, it's pretty expensive. I guess I haven't I haven't been in a while. Yeah. I remember uh oh, it's been a long time. I uh our boss when we were, I was selling cars, like took everyone and gave everybody a card with a bunch of points on it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I think that was literally the last time I've ever I, I went. Yeah. You ever, the, did you cheat at ski ball? Did you climb up in there? Clunk, 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 not clunk, clunk. only like maybe once in my Chuck E. Cheese days because I saw an older kid who for some reason like me being six or seven and seeing like a devil may care 11 year old crawling up there and just like shoving him in the hole. I was like, whoa. This guy plays by his own rules. Like, <laughs> and then, like, in, in my head, I'm like, we just need to make sure that adult over there, 16-year-old, you know, doesn't catch us and, and shut us down. And no, I never got in trouble for it. And I think I only did it once because I was a pussy. And, and also, even, like, the whole point of cheating at skee-ball would be to maximize your ticket revenue. And yeah. skee-ball, at least at my Chuck E. Cheese as a kid, was never a Not good ROI. Right. Like, if you... the more fun the game was, the worse the ticket ROI. So, like, you could get the best. The best game was the interactive bucks you around uh, Jurassic Park. That was the best game they had there, but it didn't feed out any tickets at all. But what you got a bunch of tickets was that, like, bullshit where it's like, hit the slam the thing when the light gets exactly in between these two posts. 
And oh yeah, you, you waste I a bunch that on thing. that. I hated it too because you, it was like full of all sorts of valuables. Yeah, and it made you like realize gambling as a kid, where you're just like, God, just a couple more tokens, and I know I can get it. Yeah, I know I can get it. I'm getting so close. Ah, I fucked it up, but I still got close. That's that's ten tickets. That adds to the total. You're gonna that get thing, that inflatable fucking that one thing that's baboon. always pushing the row of quarters ever closer. I, mm-hmm. I I always wanted to just shake the fuck out of that thing. Just like give I, me the quarters. I did shake that at <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese once, and an alarm went off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they. I'll tell you what, they get over there quick for the coin <laughs> <laughs> because it's not. It doesn't go whoop like and then like <laughs> alert it it is like a get like everyone all hands on deck you know drop the show and the birthday party everyone in here like because it doesn't stop until they like reset it Damn. and so like i was like maybe 10 and i was just aggravated by it and so i did a little just a little shake and then it started going whoop 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 and it goes until a guy comes over and is like do you shake it it's like <laughs> yep no and he's like, all right, whatever. I'm 16 and I'm dealing with a bunch of drunk parents at a at a first grader's birthday party in the other room. Just don't do it again. And uh, he also took all the tickets that were hanging out of the machine. Oh. Yeah. And in fairness, they were all from the, the, shaking. the shaking. Yeah. The shaking. yeah you That's why they don't allow you to you shake it. There. That's the ultimate uh <laughs> like if you can if you can shake that thing and have an alarm not go off, you are made in the shade because I just it buy a roll so of tickets. You just buy a roll of tickets like yeah, off, off Amazon internet. and show up. Yeah. <laughs> Ten thousand tickets. <laughs> You're like Ruin opening the economy. The, I don't. I, I pass them out to the kids. Like Ten thousand <laughs> tickets at a time to the kids. Just ruining the economy. I'm gonna. Jeez. I'm gonna destroy Chuck E. Cheese by having them have to buy so many Xboxes that they go out of business for these kids. I never once saw a kid actually be handed no a console from the top shelf of course not no. i, don't, I think nothing I, in that box i think i saw a a kid get a boom <laughs> box and that was the highest quality That's it was probably the enough. lowest quality bullshit boom box ever it? god it must have cost a fortune to earn a boom box <laughs> yeah so you could play all his cassettes yeah. <laughs> his boom box and his cds so yeah, but I remember like I thought that was like cool at the time. I'm like, whoa, that guy can like walk around, I guess, his house with a boombox <laughs> bothering his, on his entire shoulder. family. I, yeah, unironically, like uh, yeah. that dude from Do the Right Thing, Rakim Mahim or whatever his name is. You remember that movie? I don't know that movie. Damn, expand your film knowledge. I work yeah, on Jesus it. Jesus, Kyle. On it. It's a Spike Lee movie that, that I had while watching school. Yeah, Speaking wow. of uh, trivia. Mm. I wrote some some mm. questions. Oh, God bless your soul! In the because... form of the the whiteboard thing, I'm, I can't use the whiteboard tonight. I was so fucking excited to use the whiteboard, and I can't use the whiteboard. Oh wait, wait, wait. we're doing the whiteboard thing. Yes. Stand by. You're gonna get the whiteboard thing. I, I, I got. I don't. Questions. I don't want to talk about the, the the whole trivia situation, but I I I, 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 I was annoyed. <clears throat> yeah. I well, I, I could tell you were annoyed, and so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be good guy, Taylor, and write a quick, like, fucking 30 trivia questions <laughs> and try to make them fun. I did. I was like, I need to try and make it more even with, like, the topics that Kyle knows versus the ones that Woody knows. And so I I put some in there for a series uh, that you both know. That I, hopefully it's actually... Difficult questions. They seem difficult to me. Oh, you got some. You got some like the wire stuff. Nope, not that one. You'll you'll guess, know uh, when you get to it. It is a yeah. good one. I should. I'll write course, down the wire for another. Yeah, one. Woody and I both know the wire fairly well. I would, you know, mm. obviously I'm incessant with my rewatches. So I think you'd even... win a wire head to head. I would give that to him too. I, yeah, I can't hang with Kyle and old HBO shows. <laughs> I also <laughs> learned I can't write. Anything about paramotors because Woody's gonna know it right away. Even when I, <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is clever of me. I feel and like I feel like this part of my face is really getting left out of of, of the action, but, but this is the most gory bit. Well, you when you this? get us at the angle you do, you can see it sticking out. Like, Ooh. yeah, see that? It's Ooh. quite the mess. That must have been a terrible driver. Yeah, it, I mean, aren't you they were all? very injured. I like the black eye and like the sooty forehead. Like you were like on the way home. Grandma. You know how when you multiply two negative numbers, you get a positive one? Yeah. So can Asian women drive? 
No. Mm -mm. Okay. Nope, unfortunately. They can't even I, start the car. And they can explain <laughs> to you why mathematically. <laughs> <laughs> they why follow the addition work. rules. Okay, got it. Oh, two wongs don't make a white. <laughs> two oh. wongs can't make a white. <laughs> oh, oh, that's like, like I have my uh, board and writing thing on its way. All right, like sweet. <clears throat> it was much easier to do the questions this time because I didn't have to do any multiple choice. And I only had to do one question per like category. I realized while writing them, I don't have enough ideas for categories, so a couple got reused. Mm, I like but that. I also like tried to reuse Gooden's. Uh, I was gonna like, say um, the the Francis and Gano Tyson Fury fight. I think is this weekend. Taylor, if you've got any like buddies who are playing or watching that, and you want to make some easy money, if you can find a schmuck who will bet against Tyson Fury, you you want to go ahead and take that easy money. I'm I'm doing a Halloween thing with some buddies this Saturday before those fights start. So maybe I'll try and coax one of them into a coax them into a snafu. Smoked. Yeah, of course he is. He's not a professional boxer. Yeah. There so far go. the pro boxers have beaten um all the UFC guys, but even harder, the YouTubers. Yep. Yeah. These pros, yep. they're really good at what they do. <laughs> Turns out. <laughs> all right, Zach. Let's throw it up there. You know. Taylor's Trivia Titans. Yes. All right. My Titans. Like in Spartacus. Hmm. That's how I picture it, is I'm the guy on the fucking banister or whatever, and I'm looking down, and you guys are shredded Give us a in salute, underwear. Commodore. Uh, how do they? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it goes here, and then... It goes you here, go, and you, then you want to make it real steep, though. Down. You want to come up high and steep. All Which right. Int? First question... Lord of the Rings, which Ent led the forces of Fangorn Forest, along with Merry and Pippin, into Isengard? The home of Saruman, of course, you remember in the return, I'm sorry, the two towers, Merry and Pippin riding on his shoulders, getting marched in. All right, I couldn't hear that, Woody. I don't know the answer, but I wrote something down. We'll see. Right. I bet Kyle knows this. I might go behind early. I thought Kyle might know it, and I thought Woody might know it because of the rewatch recently. Because he's really the only named Ent in uh, done in the series. All right, throw it up your whiteboard. Oh, my camera's. Hang on, let me fix that. Wow, Woody and Kyle both correct. Tree right. beard and Kyle with the extra. Voiced by Jonathan Rhys Davies, Jesus aka Gimli. Christ. Now that I'm, I'm going to put a, I'm going to write this down: potential future half point for Kyle if, if that happens. And we, Dude, need I'm going to add useless shit next answer. 100. percent Do that because that's oh, going to no be big deal. I just know the actor and the other character he plays. Oh, mine's going to be movie. less related. <laughs> <laughs> like, here is my favorite food. All right, now to the next one, Zach. Thank you very much. Now, in season, cut. this is Seinfeld. Good in God. season four episode, the old man, Elaine's elderly partner, claimed to have slept with a famous geopolitical figure. Who was it that Elaine's elderly partner claimed to have slept with? The classic episode, the old man brought us a lot of laughs. The old man yelling at George, saying, so You're Elaine's my elderly life. partner was, was a man. Was a woman. Yeah, she was uh, uh, she had a woman. And was like supposed to be like a buddy to her in her old age in this kind of social program. And that old woman had a tale that she had slept with a very famous political figure, geopolitical figure. And who was it? I'm shocked if Kyle hasn't got this one down pat. I'm sorry. I, oh, no. I don't I don't think I do, Taylor. I don't think I do. I remember um, that episode very well, but I'm struggling. I'm all right. I'm trying to reverse my camera. Oh, I'm that's also failing at that. It's okay. I can read it. Fair. Thank you. Are you ready, Kyle? Oh, yes. Yes. Um. Oh, Ronald Reagan for Woody and Nelson Mandela for Kyle. Incorrect. It is Gandhi. Gandhi. That's right. The goiter. The goiter. Used to rub oh. his bald head in oil Fuck. and rub Fuck. it all over my body. Of course it is. That's yes. embarrassing. I can't believe you missed that one. I thought I that was a little I can't believe I didn't write Gandhi. I yeah, should have kept thinking. I was annoyed anything. by my camera. I'm, 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 I'm taking a mulligan on that one. All right, I'll jot that down. 
<laughs> but he'll write Gandhi next time. Yeah, yeah, next time. <laughs> All right, next one. Who won no. the first ever UFC event? The first ever UFC event. Who was the victor there? This is one when I was reading it, I never would have guessed because I don't know UFC fighters. Oh, that's a cool logo. The Ultimate Fighting Championship one. He kind of looks like a like a jacked Captain Planet. I just need his last name, right? Uh, if, if uh, sure. No, no. First no. name in there too. No, because there's like four guys with that last name. There's four. There's thousands four, of guys with that first, last name. Four, first <laughs> name too. First name too. Champion. You got You got to shoot in the shoot uh, for the first name. Okay. Yeah, it can't yeah, be. I don't, I don't know though. Yeah. No, just get just I, fucking right. I down just down. watched a documentary about it and I still don't know. They explained why they sent the smaller one and not the good mm -hmm. one. And there's a theory that either they sent him to really flex or it was a punishment to the, the good one because he'd gone off and done like mm -hmm. trained some other mm -hmm. people or, or done something business. Are you ready, Kyle? Like. Yes. Yeah, Gracie. I, I don't know which one. Don't His name it. is Hoist Gracie. Starts with an R but pronounced with an H for an extra half point. That that's the full point. That's the full point for Woody. No point for Kyle because even I know that there's like a like I a wanna, drowsy and sleepy and eaty. And like a, like point deduction for insolence. I I'll be the judge of all of this. And if you I've think just I'm just going to compulsively make up numbers at the end, I just don't want crazy. you to be disrespected by another contestant of mine. Yes. And don't forget. <laughs> There is a lifeline where you can what call I my phone. that was disrespectful? Helping him pronounce it? <laughs> you've been, you've been attacking the trivia master since the start. I won't if there was the word spelled yeah. R-O-Y-C-E, -E, pronounced hoist, I'd want to know. Yeah, yes, the R high trivia master. I, I think of myself as a bit of a grand wizard of trivia. <laughs> you look like one in that outfit. <laughs> yeah. All right, next question. What is the only U.S. state to border just one other state? Ooh. There's only one of them. There's some easy throwaway ones. The ones at the bottom of the map there. So I'll give that to you. Hawaii does not border any states. It is an island. And Alaska is close to Russia and Canada. And those are not part of the United States. Just one state. Just one, Kyle. I'll I just guess. Fuck! You can't think? Well, I've got it narrowed down to... <laughs> I wonder what Kyle, does Kyle have the same guess as me? I mean, we're gonna find out. Gonna... <laughs> I'll never know. Is it? Is it What'd Maine? Right. Oh, I also wrote Maine. I don't Maine. Know. That's correct. Yeah. Both of you, a point for Maine. Huzzah! That's excellent. Good for I, you guys, geography whizzes. Proud I, I of you. was just, I was just second guessing myself because I, I know Vermont is up there, and Vermont is shaped like a V, mm -hmm. but I don't. I can't picture that shit. It's all I've missed. Yeah, I was there. afraid New York squeezed in there, but I don't have a better idea which state it could be. Yeah, I found found that trivia online. And I was like, that's a good ass trivia question. And it it's not was. that hard. So, yeah. all right, next Fuck up. You. <laughs> you, you got it right. All right, who is the only U.S. president to never win a general election? Only one has ever gotten in office without having won an election at all. And who'd that be? I feel like Kyle's going to know this better than me. And this is the kind of thing I'd find interesting. You can definitely just use the last name if that simplifies it for you, Kyle. The only U.S. president to I, never I'm, win. I'm real high, so I, I'm just, I, I, don't, don't confuse me. I've just, I've got to stay in my lane here. I you know it, Kyle. I think you I might. Have, I, have, I, have a, I have a guess. It's um, the kind of thing I think Kyle might know. Are we What's right? your guess? Fire off, fire from the hip. Uh, Dwight Eisenhower. Is it no. Uh, Woody? Okay. Well, Millard okay. Fillmore? <laughs> oh, no. I, I oh, you're taking guess, up way too you're taking up way too much of the space available there on the board. <laughs> <laughs> I can't write big of horrible in it. <laughs> it is Gerald Ford. Uh, Gerald Ford never won it. a general election. Okay. It's not zooted in zooted into office. So huh. all right, that's that stays. Three to two. It's anyone's game. Next question, Zach. What are and this is going to take some listing. What are the top ten by retail sales retailers in the United States? 
List as many as possible. You can't use more than 10 guesses. E-commerce is included. What are the what? top, this is 2022. The top 10 retail sales retailers in the United States. You can't just list like 15 things. If you don't get 10, that's all right. And if you can't think of 10, that's okay. Thanks. <laughs> I'm not going to think of 10. Um, I hate you, this question. <laughs> Where I've got to write, I got to come up with so Is it one point score. for whoever gets more? Is that yeah, yeah, one point for whoever gets more. The top 10 retailers in the United States, 2022, e commerce included. This is just think, Kyle, like retail. I have no idea, Taylor. <laughs> you do not know any of them. I get, I get like two things. I, I, I don't know. I don't know where things come from. I get my place things from one place. All right. I only need one place. You, well, then write that down and then add some more, Kyle. <laughs> you know, I, I, I can see Woody writing. He, he knows. I really retailers. feel like he's going to get 10. Like, they're, I'm they're not going to no, get all 10. Why would I know like the I 10? Don't, yeah, I don't think you're going to get all 10. In like, you um, might get something that's outside of the top 10. But yeah, the, retailers. Where are places you go to buy things? And which ones of them have lots of sales? I thought this one was not too hard to get some of this them. This is up your alley, though. That's true. Yeah. I thought I, everyone I here named which Paramotor wasn't this a company. There, I'm never going to have this. <laughs> like, like, you got it. You're down on yourself. Yeah, you're going to you're, you're gonna see the list and you're going to be like, oh, I could have just thought where when i drive down the road what fucking retailers do i see is mcdonald's a retailer I, no. like, like like you need to define what these things are including e-commerce yes they sell things in packages. E -commerce. so like when you go to a brick and mortar retail store and you buy things off of mm -hmm. the shelf where do you go and which ones have the highest retail sales and e-commerce included, of course. So if yeah. it's bought through an e-commerce retail distributor, that yeah, would I'm be just counted. I'm going to forfeit because this, I don't know. I don't uh, know. Really? I have three How things. How many are on your list so far? Three. I have nine. I'm probably going to beat you. Yeah, let's see he's going to win. All right, let's yeah. see. Let's yeah, see the answers here. here. I have Amazon, Walmart, Target, Dollar General, Etsy, Walgreens, CVS, and Home Depot, and Lowe's. All right, Same, I think like uh, first three, yeah. Yeah, Kyle definitely loses. I think Amazon, Walmart, Target, Walgreens, CVS, and Home Depot, either Home Depot or Lowe's. One of them's like 10, one of them's number 11. So Woody runs away with that one. I'm writing down there, if it, if push comes to shove, extra half point for Woody down the road because that, he just absolutely slaughtered you, and I did not like your stick to there, Kyle. I wish you would have. <laughs> oh, wow. bad, we have a sassy trivia, man. It was a bad yes. question. It gave us grand. a lot of busy work. Should have been a you know, no, I just want to call out that my competitor is kind of disrespecting the trivia master. Not he, that's I, a half he, point. He's right. He deserves. He deserves. Yeah. <laughs> he's he, he's right. He's, he's just not a good sub. All right. In the TV series The Boys, what is Black Noir allergic to? Hmm. Black Noir allergic to something in The Boys. I'll write it bigger. Seemingly a. I saw online. This apparently was not. Fans of the show did not think this was a very difficult one. Yeah, what I may have it wrong, though. You, you ready, Woody? Yeah. Was it peanuts? That's what I have. Peanuts, yes. It's yeah. Nuts is the answer. You both get a point. You know, I, was I thought it was going to be like cashews or like pistachios. I just remember you know he was that, eating like nuts out of a little bag. and it was When he deal. was kicking somebody's ass, Maeve snuck up behind him and gave him a Snickers, I think, and because he's allergic to nuts. Uh, oh, that sucks. He's got to be a Milky Way man. Still a good candy. I know Kyle disagrees. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that part. All right. A little mythology. To the Greeks, Hades was the god of the underworld. What is his Roman name? As uh, you know, the Greeks and the Romans had a lot of shared gods. Zeus, the king of all gods to the Greeks, was called Jupiter to the Romans. I have no idea. I'm just guessing. Jupiter. A lot of, a lot, interesting enough, a lot of our planets are named after the Roman version of the Greek gods. Oh, wait. you know, there's there's Poseidon, 
the Greek god of the sea, and then what's the other one? There's Neptune. Neptune. Yeah, so the Hades, Greek god of the underworld, what's the Roman name? Is it a planet name? I don't know. Hmm. I could I hammered that hard. <laughs> right there. Kind of like, I believe. I'm ready. Name. All right, what do we got? I'm, or, Kyle, I'm, have you written something down yet? I have not. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not going to say if that's correct. I'll write something down. Well, fuck, Zach. Um, <laughs> I think of God of War. I didn't or, play that game. I find I, I didn't tedious. either. I'm trying to think Uranus? of something you would know. Uranus? Mm -hmm. No. No, that's incorrect. It is Pluto. Pluto mm -hmm. is the Roman god of the underworld. One of our planets. Know that. It'll always be a planet to me. <laughs> Taylor's like, yeah, a lot of Roman gods were named after planets. I'm like, could that be a clue? <laughs> could that be a clue? <laughs> a master of subtlety I, over I here. Think the planet was, <laughs> well, I think the planet was named after the god, though. Right? Uh, who's I don't even know if I'm holding <laughs> right. I'm not sure. Uh, there is, oh, this is this is the fruit category. Fruit. There is only one fruit with seeds on the outside. What is it? All the other fruits got their seeds on the inside. The tomato, a fruit. Interesting enough. Not interesting. You ready, Kyle? Yeah. Right. Me too. What do we got here? Strawberry. That's what I also Strawberry. Got. Correct. The only fruit with seeds on the outside. Kyle crawling his way back in. Wait, I got it too. I know. I'm just trying to make it exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stiff arming that baby over there with my Waldo right arms. See, right now, I would Woody is ranked one in the country. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question, Zach. It's only because of the crooked coaches poll. All right, <laughs> list these historic figures by date of death, earliest to latest. Attila the Hun, Genghis Khan, Leif Erikson. The picture, of course, is SpongeBob celebrating Leif Erikson Day. Classic, classic episode. Happy Leif Erikson Day. This is what Patrick says to him. Attila the Hun, Genghis Khan, Leif Erikson. I got blood on my marker board. Oh, dear. Um, Earliest to latest by date of death. Could also be date of birth. It's not like these guys were that close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to say this and then that. And then. Attila the Hun, Genghis Khan, okay, I'm ready. Erikson. All right, show them. I said Khan, Attila, then, then Leif. I said the order he wrote them because that's been the answer every other time. <laughs> Ooh, you're both wrong. Um, it is Attila the Hun died in 453 AD, right around the fall of the Roman Empire. Leif Erikson, 1020 AD. Genghis Khan, 1227 yeah, this AD. This is your fault. Your question listed them out of order, and you've never done that before. I'm throwing fucking, <laughs> fucking curveballs. <laughs> you are. Like a, like a, like a left-handed wiffle ball pitcher. All right, all right, all bring it. What you got? All right. This is the fish category. Lightly salted fermented Baltic sea herring is a traditional Swedish cuisine known for its pungent odor. What is it called? What is it called? It's It's been used in shows like Fear Factor, a lot of challenge shows, because it can clear a room with how disgusting it smells. I don't even think the Swedes like it. I think it's something that they pretend to <laughs> Are you like. ready, Woody? All right. Yeah, I think I have it so, wrong. So let me go first, if I may, because sure. I don't know. I'll allow that. I spelled something that sounds like Ludafisk. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good ass guess. That's a really good guess. Ludafisk. Um, <laughs> There's guess a question. Not, though. Is Ludafisk? So I have my a... real answer, which I think is wrong, and then a second one, just in case. Yes. It's not anchovies, is it? No. Is it locked? No, it's Sir Stroming. Sir oh. Stroming. Ah, is the we were both so close. You were both so close. I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's it's just something they eat on. The Ludafisk is actually the, the common Ooh, dialect. The number of countries in Europe. This is over, or above or below, over or under. Are there more or less countries in Europe than 40? More or less? I mean, uh, you got a 50 50 shot. I'm done. You sure? No. <laughs> not, not in the slide. Don't change the answer because I said I changed it. I changed it. You, <laughs> All cut right. the blue wire. All right. There we go. What's the you answer? Ready? I said less. 
Ooh, I also went with under. It's more. There's four. Wait, to four. wait. Is it your- Woody, <laughs> with <a> point. <laughs> Woody with a point. Woody with a point. My God. Why is I think that might be a. That might he be a. With his board. Oh, is, There's no saying. I don't know. I mean, garbage. Some people garbage say garbage. that, but it is, people <laughs> lie. How many countries are in <laughs> Europe? Like, we don't have any idea. We're spit. <laughs> Next time, ass heads or tails. I thought it was good, easy, not, not easy because I wouldn't have known exactly how many. And I ran out of those personalized questions real quick. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> the cousin. All right. This South Pacific Island nation is also <laughs> a brand of beverage. This South Pacific Island nation is also a beverage brand. Betty. Yep. Yep. Fiji. Fiji. There you go. See, I add ones in after ones that I assume will frustrate you. <laughs> is that an appeasement question? What's the first letter in Fiji? Yeah, a yeah. yeah, little appeasement question. Get that. Get a sniff in. Get another sniff in on that. I, I'm dripping bloody. Oh, I thought you were going with your Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't get, get anything. Give me anything. Nah, it's not working. Seven either. to five. Anyone's game. Mm. Let's see the next question. <laughs> this is the rank one and rank two players in the country. You had well, to. Don't you have any more questions? Out. All right. In the season two episode of Always Sunny, hundred dollar baby. What is Charlie's fighter name? Charlie's fighter name, Mac, or Dennis originally was going to sign Mac up as a fighter, in an, or got sign Charlie up as a fighter in an underground league, and they had to come up with a fighter name for Charlie. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't watch season two. What? No. That's crazy. It's a great season. All right. You don't have any guess. You can't think the. No. All right. Show it. Crazy horse? Crazy horse. No. But not too great. far away. Uh Kyle didn't give a guess. Clown baby. Clown yeah. baby. The name when of his Taylor wouldn't have like, gotten that out of crazy. multiple choice. I'm like, did he do a subtle hint again? <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought you were gonna get that one. Uh-huh. It's, see, you don't watch season two, that's insane. No. All right. This actor, featured in Gremlins 2, also plays Count Dracula in the nineteen fifty eight film Dracula. Who is it? Big time actor. Kyle questions. I, if the next question isn't what's Woody's brother? Hang, hang on, leave name, it, leave it up. This I, isn't I, fair. I, leave it up, leave it up. Um, leave it up. Gotta, so I got to read that over, over and over. This actor, featured in Gremlins Two, also plays Count Dracula in the 1958 film Dracula. Who is it? Played Dracula in one of the famous Dracula makes remakes. I guess it would, it would be a remake because the originally Dracula was like in the twenties or something. Yeah. Um, oh, Who played oh. Dracula? I would be surprised if no one gets this. Yeah, I'm not going to get it. Um, Kyle doesn't know this. I thought this was the sort of thing he'd know. I no, so. I, I, I don't like the black and white Dracula movies. I don't watch any of that stuff. Okay, right. let's go. Uh, Boris Carlyle. Carlyle? Did you make that up? Is that in there? Boris Carlyle? No, it's Christopher Lee. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, well, maybe one of his... Fat white dude? His, no, he was <laughs> a skinny any white dude. Thing, Chris, well, any uh, other thing Christopher Lee had ever done would have been helpful. That's why I picked Gremlins too, because I thought it would be too easy to go... Because the old trivia about Christopher Lee is like, do you know he played Dracula in the 50s? That's how long he's been acting. But dead but now. I don't know... What, so first of all, I've seen Gremlins 2. Gremlins 2? It was a red herring. It, threw, it was me. It meant to throw you off. Where was he featured? Like, like that's a I movie. I don't know. Of, like, I looked up what other movies was he in, and I looked through his IMDb. Well, one, and I'm like Gremlins too. That's funny to add in as though it's helpful. No one will ever get that. <laughs> at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. No, everybody I in the like comments is, is agreeing. All right, who preceded Vladimir Putin as president of Russia? Oh. Little hint here. The office began with this guy. There's only been two presidents of Russia. So who was president of Russia before Putin? Fuck, I, I, I know this normally. I, I've talked about him before. You have. You've both talked about him before. Yeah. We've had conversations about this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna he was on TV my... the other day, like, like talking. I think I thought when I wrote this, I'm like, this is more of a Woody one. I think he'll get it. <laughs> I don't think I have it right. And if I do, I'm not sure it's close enough. All right. Um, you, or no, Kyle, you go ahead. Sorry. Mm-hmm. 
I would get it a multiple choice for sure. (laughs) All right, show him. I don't know. Yeah, I put Boris Yeltsin. Boris Yeltsin. That is correct. Boris Yeltsin, the first president of Russia. But Putin was president, and then he relinquished it, and then that other guy took over, and then he took it back again. Like we're not counting that. That wasn't the right answer. Boris Yeltsin was the president before Putin. Okay. They, so was there are two people who were president before Putin? Technically, then were there? I don't. I don't fucking think so, man. I, I no, only know. one could be right. Oh, because he went twice. Yeah, Did the same guy proceed in both times. I'm not sure. No, Boris that's Yeltsin the name was I was searching for. And if politician. I had known Boris Yeltsin the first was the pu- president of Russia from 1991 to 1999. Well, I knew hmm. Boris Yeltsin. I was looking for the guy before that. It was USSR. Was, probably. You know, no, this is this is unorthodox, Kyle. I'm going to give you a point anyway. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> I want I want questions that make sense. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll give him the point. I'll give him the point. Look <laughs> at <laughs> 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 whose line is anyway up in this bitch. Yeah, half hmm. point because he did know it kind of. All right. The high no. appeaser. I just know that the question is bad. The question's not bad. It's the fifth. There are two different answers. And you're, you're like, what's the I, other no, answer? No, no, no. Because the other one wasn't a president of Russia. He was a USSR czar or whatever. Yes. No. The first president of Russia. Okay. So Boris Mr. Yeltsin Russian was before Putin. Denise. And then Putin re- Putin retired. And another guy took over for him for like years. And then Putin took over again. So I thought the correct answer should be that guy who was the president during that interim. Because he's the most recent person who was president before Putin. All right. If you give me his name, you get the point. Yeah, I told you I don't remember his name, but I wish oh. that I'd known that Boris Yeltsin was a possibility because he's like, you know. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was Dmitry Medvedev is who you're talking about, but he was a uh, first deputy prime minister of Russia, not president. Medvedev. The name I, of this candy. What all right. This? These disgusting subjective coffee, chalky candy discs were available in flavors, including lemon, lime, clove, cinnamon and wintergreen. Something thought of now as an old lady candy, kind of. Very gross. Is that a picture of them? No, no. That's if you would see if you saw a picture of it, you would immediately know. Has an iconic chalky candy disc look, and I included the flavors like clove and cinnamon and wintergreen, so you know this is not a modern tasty candy. It's the kind of candy that would be bullied. Not as much as good and plenties, but it would be bullied by the other candies had they were they to be anthropomorphized. I don't know it, Kyle. Do you? No idea. Did you write what? anything? No. I like. I, I could write I like lifesavers. Lifesavers? No. Uh, Necco wafers. Oh, uh, Necco wafers. Yeah. I remember having those as a kid and being like, "This is fucking dog shit. This is the worst candy in the world. I hate these." <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Next question. Kyle's getting a little aggravated. Okay. All right. What are the first five books of the Old Testament? Are you fucking kidding Whoever me? gets the most See, right. I don't I, I I refuse again. I won't take part in these whoever gets the most right nonsense that gives me a bunch of busy work. I, I it's hate five it. words, it's, you fucking it's, idiot. It's so much laziness on your part. Why wouldn't there be multiple choice or something so we can be like pop it a boop, pop it a boop? I can't do multiple choice. Name five books? Just I, name what are the five books? There's just what are the fucking first books in the Old Testament? Just all right. I have my five. All right. <laughs> These are gonna be all. Uh, bad. It's Moses in the Sorcerer's Stone. Moses <laughs> and the Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> like you should know this, Kyle. You you know of the know Lord. Why I would know this. You're from the South. <laughs> I don't know shit about this. <laughs> <laughs> She's so aggravated. <laughs> Kyle being These Angel are good ass questions. Fucking I wonder what his answers are. Um, fucking, okay. We're ready? Yeah. Yes. Genesis, uh, Judges, Psalms, Romans, Joshua. Genesis, you got it. There's one. What you do you got? got one? Ready? Yep. I put the book of Luke, the book of Mark, and the book of Matthew, the book of John, and in <laughs> in an In a st- Stunning turn of events. Woody does not get Genesis. Kyle gets a point for <laughs> one out of five. Oh, wow. you guys are going to hell. Well, because it's not real. <laughs> I haven't even been baptized. <laughs> I haven't been baptized. Take that half point away. I hate it. All right, take the half point away from Kyle. I deduct half a point from Kyle for his fucking attitude about these questions. <laughs> There's a reason you don't have any points. 
Give it to and me. Because Chiz was too lazy to make this game properly. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so I, two hours before the show, was like, I know, I'm mad at him and I'm misplacing it onto you. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, thank you. I did my best. I love you and appreciate that you did this with such little time. <laughs> that means a lot to me. <laughs> All right, next question. This one's not about the Bible, so it should help. Oh, good. Thoros is a red priest. Game of Thrones question. Thoros is a red priest from what city? Is Thoros from what city? Oh, they call him Game of Thrones question. Yes, Thanks. Game of Thrones question. They even refer to him throughout the show and the books as Thoros of somewhere. Yeah, they I include don't know. the city and his name and his title. I'm what? That's yeah, surprising. Not, not Thoros. I, I, mean, of, I, I mean, I cut the cord on that after the the thing. You know, like, it was still good when he was bouncing around when he was in the show. Uh, maybe it was a picture of the actor. I would. I would have some inkling he is the guy he's going around in the red cloak obviously the whole time it's a real dark show i couldn't tell i don't remember anybody in a red East. cloak all right he's what's, what's, what's the city of genesis to get a half point <laughs> question. he misspelled genesis to duck to half point I, I i play the code words and know i can get it from the previous question <laughs> that's true <laughs> so, yeah it's the fucking dumbest trivia thing ever they can just come back and get it in the next <laughs> No, add that. No, I add that. Give Woody has eight points. This isn't a fucking joke. Wait, why did he take a point? <laughs> <laughs> right, Kyle, he's willy is, nilly with these with these, these points. He's, he's capricious with these half points. Kyle, do you have a city name? Uh, Any guesses? Nah, no. Um, Thoros uh, of, of 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 um of 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 Mir. That's a point for Kyle. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. Up, really? Ooh. Ooh, oh. that Nick, Thoros of Mir. Wow. That's good. That's what they call him. That's what they call him throughout the show. The Red Priest, Thoros of Mir. Next question. All, all knotted up at eight. Damn. All right. I had to look this up. What is the name of the dwarf who created Stormbreaker in Avengers Infinity War? I believe, and I'm going by context clues here because I haven't seen the film, is... No, I did see this one, actually. It's Peter Dinklage, right? It yes. is, Yeah. Yes, Peter Dinklage plays this dwarf. He's a, a Hephaestus or something. He's uh, a, a giant dwarf of, or something confusing. Yeah. Yeah, Stormbreaker um, is Thor's hammer, right? So It was uh, the new one that he made for him, yeah. What is his name? What's that dwarf's name? Yeah. I, I don't know. I really. I, I, I really also don't know. know. Let's, let's move uh, on. Okay, move on from this one. His name is Eitri, E-I-T-R-I. -I. Nope, doesn't ring a bell. Eitri. What I, is my current favorite candle scent? Yes, this is choose. this is Tay's faves, and what is my current favorite candle scent? What it really is is you guys are competing to write down what candle scent you think I enjoy most, and between the two of you, I will pick which one is superior. How well do you know your buddy Taylor? What kinds of scents does he enjoy? What kinds of scents does he abhor? Kyle writing feverishly, erasing, second guessing. I think Kyle's gonna win. I know that we have different tastes in candles. We do. We've, we've talked about candles, though. And it's all tied up. And this so, is what some would call the most so, absurd, subjective <laughs> question. So I've designed a candle for you, Taylor, that features sandalwood, leather, and vanilla. Ooh. And so unfair. Woody, which one of, of what, what are you saying? sandalwood, too. Sandalwood. Oh. I have to give you both a point because sandalwood <laughs> is one of my favorite scents. <laughs> both of you get a point for sandalwood. Oh, <laughs> it's big. Like <laughs> 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 one of the uh, Name the three stooges. Woody's like Mo. Point for Woody. <laughs> <laughs> I could have I could have detracted from you if I was going to be honest because I leather. leather <laughs> Leather's a great addition. To I was tasked, tasked to blend. It, but vanilla is not a good addition. I don't like the that scent vanilla. of vanilla. And so it equaled out that. back to just sandalwood. In ancient Rome, what was a vomitorium? What was a vomitorium in ancient Rome? I'm ready. It is an, an oft questioned aspect of history. The vomitorium. Kyle's ready. Woody musing. I think I have this wrong, but I'll try. All I just right, wrote the N-word over and over. Ooh, 
Ooh, <laughs> 10 points for Kyle Bravery. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kyle says an exit. And what does Woody say? I feel like Kyle knew it. A room where you vomit and rally to eat more. No, incorrect. It is a vomitorium is what they referred to as the large exits from amphitheaters because it looked like it was vomiting people back onto the street. Huge, huge exits from amphitheaters and coliseums. So Kyle I had an opportunity to write exit because Taylor gave me the answer while I was still writing mine and I didn't take it. That's true. We would have seen gonna... you doing a lot of this though. <laughs> <laughs> just, just shaking it up. Man, Kyle, just turning this franchise around. All right. California produces 98% of the U.S. domestic product of what food? What food does California make shitloads of? Boxes, barrels, bags, bins, crates of this food. Huge amounts. And California is one of the only places in the U.S. that it's getting grown. 98%. That's not right. My answer is not right. Fuck. Mine's probably wrong, too. I wouldn't worry. Do you have another thought, uh, Kyle? Well, or do you not want to second guess yourself? Produce, produce. Southern California. It's not the wines. They, they. It's all of California, and it's produce. Is it produce? Did Taylor uh, say no, that? No. Oh, it's hang on. Food. It's just it's food, not not necessarily. Oh. It could be produce, but it's not necessarily produce. It's just domestic product of what food. <laughs> I just saw. Ooh, I saw a little little sparkle in Kyle. Okay, I'm ready. Here. I guess I don't think I'm right. What's your right. answer? All right. Well, I was going to say lettuce because I know they make a tremendous. I was going to say lettuce. Yeah. But but then he said they make 98 percent of it, so I changed it to the devil's lettuce, meaning marijuana. <laughs> Incorrect. Hmm. That's not Shame. right. What do you got, Woody? I'm probably wrong. I just happen to know this factoid about like water being incredibly misused somewhere over there to make almonds. Al Almonds. No, that's close. It's pistachios. Uh, They're making all the pistachios over there, and it is a bad misattribution of water, apparently, but who cares? Pistachios rule. Facts. Excellent. All right, yeah. next question. This military drama featuring Guy Pierce won the Oscar for Best Picture in 2010. Not necessarily starring Guy Pierce, but Guy Pierce was in it. I couldn't say who it was starring or it would give it away. Man. Best picture in 2010. Military drama. Best picture. I don't, man. 13 years ago. I believe in both of you. Why would you believe in me on a movie thing against Kyle? Uh, you actually don't. You're just lying. You're saying that to be nice, but you believe it's in Kyle. That. It's not that. It's <laughs> not that. It's you're, it's not the one I'm thinking of either because the one I'm thinking of is too old. I, it's a huge movie that year. Military drama. All right, if neither of you got it, I'll say it was starring. Ready? Oh, okay. No. Or do you not. do you want do you want the extra hint? Do you want me to say who it was starring? Sure. Did, if what he does. Sure. Yeah, I'll say it. Starring. Yes. I think his name is Jeremy Renner, the Hawkeye guy. Yes. Okay. Well, now I know I know the fucking answer. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you tell the class? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. If you know it so well, say it out loud. Don't just write it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, your money where your mouth is there. I'm going to write. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. I have hurt locker. <laughs> Hurt Locker, I see nothing wrong with the way you guys are answering. Wow, both of you knew that equally. Madness. Madness. Hurt Locker. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I'll get 101 points. I, I no. couldn't come up with that. No, yeah. All right, next question. Know. Guy Pierce was in that movie. I still don't remember I don't remember think I got a point that. for that. I just Man. went to like... Guy Pierce is the guy who dies in the beginning scene of the fucking movie, you asshole. He dies in the first... Five minutes. He's the guy that 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 dude replaces. I think it What's might be. I just looked at the Mediterranean Sea. What is the largest island in the Mediterranean Sea? Really not difficult if you think about it. Yeah, it is, Taylor. Yeah, it, is. <laughs> it is. Are we ready? 
<laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah Malta? A... Is it Malta? Oh, that's funny. I have Malta too. No, it is Sicily. Yeah. Sicily, far and away, the largest. You didn't know island. it was a fucking island. In the <laughs> yeah, that it was an island? The, it's the thing the boot's kicking. That's because your people are from there. You know that. We don't know that. We we're real whites. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This I put three. This is the beginning of the Star Trek. There's three Star Treks in a row because you guys both know Star Trek very well. What species known to the Borg as species 329 were deemed unworthy of assimilation? Known to the Borg as species 329, they were deemed unworthy of assimilation by whatever the Borg is, which I think they were just a total assimilation race. So they wanted to, it's a good name. They won Borg. I'm only guessing, but. Yeah, I give, give me a moment, please. I'm, I'm trying to come up with this, but it's like. Oh, moment, take two. You're out of moments now. That <laughs> based on what property, I would love to know, right? Because it's like I didn't look at. I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, I've never. Because there's so much. Are the Borg in all of them? Yeah, exactly. So, so when when was this defined? You know, when when did we hear about species three two nine? When just when was that guess up there, Kyle. In the twentieth century show. I'm um, guessing. I don't know it, so you don't I, have to work. You know. I, uh, I don't know then. Oh, and hmm. guess a species or something. Well, he's, I, I can't. He put too much pressure. I can't come up with it now. You can do it, man. He, I mean, have you had your blue chew? I, maybe you could perform under pressure. Yeah. Well, I can't come up with one that that would be that that, that makes sense. So, so I don't really have it. Uh, I think mine makes sense. All right, should we just do it? Go. Yeah. Say so do it. I put Klingon because they're so different and aggressive, and I thought maybe they wouldn't like them. Klingon? <laughs> no, it's the Kazan. Oh. The Kazan species. I didn't know if that was hard or not. I went to a trivia place for Star Trek, and it was on. It was like middle of the list from like. My guess is that Earth. is a one episode in Voyager or in uh, a series that I haven't seen before. Well, I did not know. Next one, Data had a cat. What was Data's cat's name? Oh, I'm gonna know it after you tell me. Don't you, you want to know, know what sex Data's cat was? Uh, sure. Include that as an addendum, and it could be the difference maker in the end. <laughs> Data's cat. You wouldn't think a space robot, which I'm pretty sure is what he is, space <laughs> android, would have a cat, but he does. What is his cat's <sighs> name? I'm ready. I Sparkles. I don't know it. It's, uh, it's uh, Spot. <clears throat> um, and... and Sp Spot. Er, early on, it was male, but later on during the episode where they all get devolved, Spot got devolved to an iguana uh, while having kittens. So clearly, Spot had gotten off and gotten banged by one of the other Enterprise kitten cats. So they changed That's that. Detail. Very good. One for two on the Star Trek. All right. This one I thought seemed easy. What is the Klingon homeworld? What is the Klingon homeworld? And Zach, get rid of cheated next to Woody's. Woody's did not. <laughs> as the commissioner, <laughs> I, I'm a Pats fan, and Woody's the Pats, and he can deflate <laughs> all he wants. He just took a half pound out of Woody's ball. <laughs> <laughs> the home Woody, of what is the your middle name? <laughs> <laughs> what is oh. the thing on Homeworld? I'm gonna know it for sure after I hear it. I've heard it a hundred times. The Klingon Homeworld. This one I I thought was like. Uh, not too difficult because the Klingons, even I know, they're like a big part of that show. They're not they one are. of the Kazan races. All right, you got it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kyle, go first. Kronos. 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 I believe that is correct. Uh, it was spelled on the site Q O N O S. Did I spell it weird? Kronos. Oh, who knows? Uh -huh. it, well, well, how do you even interpret a, the Klingon alphabet? You know, you can learn that. That, like it's a defined language. Wow, you can that's learn. Gay. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I guess people do that with Elvish too, but that's pretty sweet uh, from Lord of the Rings. I wrote Klingon. I thought maybe the Klingons were from Klingon. I don't know. Yeah. I got it wrong. Yeah. That could be a good, that's a good question. Yeah, that's point for Kyle. Uh, all right. Next category, Simpsons. What is the name? What is the name of Ned Flanders' store in the Springfield Mall? Ned in one of the early seasons opened up, well, early season opened up a store in the Springfield Mall. Do you know it, Kyle? I, I think so. I, I'm ready to show. Yeah, I'm close. Um, right. Leftorium? 
I also so have leftorium. Left Boom! Two, both of you get leftorium correct. And he, of course, goes under because he's uh, validating everyone's parking and giving things away for free. <laughs> and Homer work. wasn't sending him all the business. No, <laughs> it was like <laughs> people were like these damn right-handed scissors, and Homer's just like not sending them there. <laughs> all right, what does Walking Dead? What animal does Daryl Dixon wear as a necklace? He's got a little necklace with an animal on it. What animal is on Daryl Dixon's necklace? Oh, heck. Daryl Dixon, of course, the crossbow man. Now, now, could you could you phrase the question more specifically, M like like more better? More better. Is it? it is there? A, is he wearing a skull as a necklace, or is he wearing a necklace that is made to appear to be a skull of some kind? He is wearing a necklace that is either made of or resembling an animal. So it could be either or it's both. Well, I say that because I didn't know the answer to this. I just saw it online. And so well, I, I know this, Kyle. pulled that. Uh, Do you I'm know going to say that it was a, uh, a possum's penis. A possum's <laughs> penis. No, no, what is it? I put rabbit. Rabbit. No, it was a squirrel. He had a squirrel necklace around his neck. Okay. Earl Dixon, Point the out. squirrel hunter. Another nickname from the show. All right. Final question. <laughs> you know, the natural... Place to end question 31. <laughs> 31 flavors. Speaking of Lutefisk, that's funny. In King of the Hill season three episode Revenge of the Lutefisk, who ended up being the man with the terrible smell? One of the characters on the show devoured an entire tray that served 40 of Lutefisk, a rancid fish dish brought by the new, uh, I want to say Wisconsin. It was Daryl. <laughs> is there a Daryl on that show? I'm prepared. All right, you're prepared. It is not Daryl. Who is the man with the terrible smell? I was guessing it was Bill. No, incorrect. <laughs> it was, was it Joe Bobby. Jack? Bobby oh. ends up being the man with oh, the terrible smell. Cotton Hill takes the fall as the man with the terrible smell, and then eventually Bobby comes out and says, it was me, I'm the man with the terrible smell. And then... Well, I was up like eight to six, and I'm like, this is an insurmountable lead. <laughs> 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 Kyle has like a sour attitude. I'm like, this I, is going so swimmingly. I'm so upset about that retail store question. It's like, it's like, I, give me some I'm so mad about that. was like the sixth question. It's, it's like, do my... It's like, it's like question 37... Do my taxes. Fuck you. <laughs> you no, I could do your taxes. No, I don't want to write 10 things. I don't oh, that's going to be things. an instant win for Woody if he does my taxes for me. 100 points for Gryffindor in that circumstance. Yeah. Well, good good victory. A narrow victory, Kyle. I think I won the last time, maybe? Yes. Or was it a tie? Yes. I believe you won last time. So I think that makes it you guys are one and one. Ah, um, you know, you're the, one and the, one in conference games. The, 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 the coveted PKA Cup can only be held by one man. So hopefully, hopefully yes. in, the, in the grand finals. And uh, in the of, end, of, the, the, the thing about this trivia contest is at any point I can add or take away points. There were a ton of movie and TV questions in there. Uh, yeah, I, I, I hated it. And, and again, <laughs> it's, it's not, I hated uh, again, it. I, I, I really appreciate all of Taylor's quick, quick work to, to fall on this because, you know, I, I've just got so much hate in my heart um uh, about this subject um you know just so much so much fucking anger and fury because i wanted to do the thing and then it was like, oh let's not do the thing let's do this other thing and i'll do it and it was like all right hands off and then here we are weeks later whoopsie daisy I, now taylor's got to do something the last minute and it's just 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 making me like i mean angry, i hear your point angry. but as the yeah. loser i think i should be focusing my hate on taylor right taylor's asked all the wrong questions that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean they're not all going to be winners. <laughs> but like so often, I'm like, oh, I could put another one in here that's like, what country doesn't border fucking Italy? And then I'm like, geography is more fair than like 13 years ago. Well, I actually got this one right. What yeah. was the movie that won Best Picture? <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't know. I, didn't I, don't, I would like. <laughs> I would like some questions that require. Yeah, like, if I have a to be the like arbiter again, math. I need like, you guys like, to send me like seven or eight categories each 
and I'll do we a did question that already. for each of that category. No, like a full one. Like a, like eight things well, you, you don't have be to like be in our it doesn't have to be that I would recommend just using Jeopardy categories that I think that's the trick is go back to old episodes of Jeopardy celebrity Jeopardy and and there you go it's pre it's pre made game I'll do something like that then because it would be much it'd if be I have to do it over and under again I'm going to I'm going to I'm to kill myself but it's the easiest thing over or under. You guys both so missed we, it. It's not like so I hate over. I hate over and under, but not nothing is as bad as name, you hate over and name, under? 30, name thirty. Name the top ten highest scoring basketball players from nineteen ninety six. Top uh, what? No, I'm not gonna write thirty people's fucking names. I hated that question. I know you did, and as soon as I asked it, and you know what, naive idiot that I am, I'm like, oh, this will be fun. They'll have a little. They'll have a little fun with this one, and then it Woody blew fun. your back out. No, I hate it. <laughs> I, hate it. I refuse to take part. He he absolutely would have gotten more than me because I I, I hated the question so much. I absolutely my brain got would, more. Like it was bro- hypothetical. Well, <laughs> I mean, I quit. I quit immediately because I refused to take part. I mean, I tried to lead you game. to water, where I was like, "No, what stores do you see? CVS." It was Whoa, a little weird to me that. It seemed like Kyle didn't know ten stores. No, I don't know. If, it's it's like coming up do, with ten stores just is hard. Didn't, I don't want to. It's weird to me that it's not front of like Home Depot, Lowe's. You've heard of these retail places, sure. Yeah. CVS, Walgreens. Yeah, I thought of probably, them. I just didn't want to write them. I didn't want the. Well, it I is felt true. The writing Walgreens of forcing me to write of things was. What, <laughs> I would rather lose the point and move the game to a question that doesn't require a whole bunch of writing. Was your Sharpie, did it have more friction than mine? Because I didn't yeah. think it was hard to write. I mean, I, CVS. I didn't want to. I didn't want to. <laughs> Three letters. I will forfeit any question that requires me to write 10 different things. I think different you things. should write your high school teachers and apologize for who you were. I, I, I absolutely won't do it. I won't. I, I won't <laughs> well, okay, it. don't write and them. It's a, and, and I've never seen a game where that was a question. You know what? Next, when, next when week. When the last time Jeopardy be... said, name the top... 10 scoring players from Major League Baseball. We're not doing gay giving me ideas. Doing my I want to be the game. quiz master next time. Yeah, do that. We can switch <laughs> around. Someone else do it. I don't, I don't need to be the, the trivia writer. Those just playing the game. We're supposed to have a quiz master here. How about this? I, I There's a good question for next week. All right. Whoever lists more two-digit numbers, more two-digit numbers. <laughs> I would like some uh, like reasoning questions, like I, like like not necessarily math, but like I don't know, two cars doing two things, like which one's going to get there. Like, you don't what- want to write CVS, but you want to do math. <laughs> I want to do common sense reasoning things. Like if you showed me a ball going that was going to travel down three different paths, and you asked me which one gets there the fastest, A, B, or C. Multiple choice is fucking key to this game, by the way. It was I, I, got a multiple choice. Well, but the, that makes it. it would so, be you have to write so much things. more. You know they're kind of complicated, but you visualize pouring water in from this side, and then it's like which one would fill. Last oh yeah, I like those. First, yeah, those are hard. But, that would be fun. Yeah, they can be hard. Some well, maybe if I think they're easy, I'm not getting it. So I don't know. But I I don't know. I've seen a bunch of di- the one I've only seen. Yeah, one, that would be a good time. And I stared at it for a while, and I was like, "Fuck all this!" And then I read yeah. the comments, and they were like, "Act." Actually, <laughs> you know the ones I don't. So there's these math questions where they ask order of operations, mm-hmm. but sometimes I think it's not completely clear. It's not completely clear. That's that's why they're yeah. all, I, for some reason I'm on the homework subreddit. So uh, pay, it's like parents presenting their homework, like like hey, me and my wife can't figure this one out. What well, yeah, it. and the great. answer will often be that the phrasing is poor. That like mm-hmm. ah, actually. Medvedev is the better answer because he is the most recent person who was president before Putin. He was the president of the country, right? He was not president. He was first well, deputy is, secretary. What is what is Putin? President of the That's Russian Federation. Yes. You sure? Yes. How sure? So sure that I I googled it as I was writing that question, and then I feel it like said Medvedev was in charge for a while. If you go to Boris Yeltsin's page. It, it doesn't matter. The, preceded the fact, by. Well, or, I'm sorry. Uh, again, again I've explained why that's irrelevant. Um, if I had, if I had not been mistakenly thinking that Medvedev took over for him, then I would have known Boris Yeltsin, unfortunately. But it doesn't matter because I won nonetheless. Uh, the, the uphill battle with the with the tricked questions, just yeah. every step of the even, way. Even even with your one point 
attitude just, deduction. Just, just uh, defense, <laughs> defenders, <laughs> defenders hanging off me left and right like the bulldozer. Medvedev was <laughs> the prime bulldozer. minister. I don't know if prime minister is different than president or if president is a Russian title. I don't know. Yeah. But I I agree where a guy who goes twice asking who's before him is an imperfect question. I'll be honest with you. I finished writing these questions at like 535 and we started. Again, six, so. it's misplaced <laughs> anger. Thank you so much for making a game <laughs> with two hours of time while you put a costume together. Thank you. Everyone's appreciative. And it was wonderful, but I hated it. <laughs> well, I want to do. I want to do. And we should just have. Let's just have Zach be the the clue master next time. Okay. And Chiz then we can the all. I know Chiz has a whole thing set up, but he had a fucking emergency come up, and I'm. Just well, we mad just have him that. give his setup to Zach, and then well, Zach sure can run it because he's it. always here. And then we we'll, we'll do it because I want to be able to. But Chiz like, will come on the show for to do. It. I, I thought that was the deal that that he was going to come on the show and host the game for us. And so that, that's why I was annoyed is because oh. he had a thing that came up today. I'm not trying to throw him under the bus. I'm just mad at the situation. I it, thought he was making it fault. for Taylor, but I might misunderstand the situation. No, he made it sound like he wanted to run it because okay. I was like like, a, like a, two weeks ago or whatever after we did the first one last week. I don't remember. Uh, I was like, man, I want to be able to answer him too. And he was like, oh, you can because I'll run it. Yeah. And it's okay. like, okay, well, if he's you know too busy, we can always have Zach jump in and do it. I'd we'll like do. to. I bet Chiz does a good job with the questions. I bet Chiz does a fantastic job with the questions. Uh, that's uh, I'm excited for it. Um, hmm. I, I like. Uh, I love trivia when the questions are good, and and when people <laughs> don't put poor Taylor in a position where he has to make such terrible, terrible questions because that's not fair to Taylor. Right, right. It makes Taylor look retarded. Yeah. To do this to him. Yeah. Like, don't, most of them were pretty good. Uh, don't make Taylor, Taylor I'm look not, like this again. No one's blaming you, Taylor. We're just saying. You looked really bad. <laughs> <laughs> We're just saying no. that people are going to hate it, you retards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not saying you did a bad job. I'm saying you were put in a position where you did a terrible job. I was set up to fail. Is what <laughs> it was. That's what it Genuine was. Genuinely, look, thank you. I, I, I enjoyed that. I'm glad we got our marker boards. So there will be more trivia to come. Yeah, and I got uh, my marker I board fucking untouched. I'm going to get a smaller marker board next time. <laughs> yes. Yeah, right? <laughs> See, it was like two more dollars for a much bigger one, and I was like, oh, ho, oh, got to upgrade. And I I'm, really should have gotten that little one that was like the size of this piece of paper. I have a little <laughs> electric one. Do you know what a boogie board is? Yeah. yeah. Okay. To me, a boogie board is like a, a, a toy you play in the surf with. But okay, that is uh, it's what all... it is to me as well. Yeah. Me oh, too. if you Google it, you'll find that it's like an electronic whiteboard. Ah. Oh, fancy. I didn't know that. Dude, yeah. I mean, you just need a regular old dry erase, though, for this. I got one. I'm good. But um, that that sounds interesting. I just remember the old remember the old thing where you peel the plastic back and the letters go away. Oh yeah, that would be an aggravate, and then it stops working. Like, because you I have mean, to. I don't know anybody you, who used you, that toy for more than a day. It that was a way. It was quick. a way that you could write bad words and show your friend and go knee, and then then you got your calculator. And then my then my mom walks over and is like, "Why is there an N embedded oh, into this?" Zach linked this link. disgusting fucking fucking article, which I hope is fake. It says that Amaranth has partnered with a a brewery to. To, to brew a, a a beer using her her vaginal yeast, which that I don't a think stupid question. Yeah, do all vaginas have yeast? I thought that was like a infection that happened from time to time. Well, is, you is know, there like a natural the, amount of yeast that's okay and normal? The vagina is a mysterious organ, Woody. Mm -hmm. you know, I <laughs> <laughs> it's one of God's great mysteries. Yeah. yeah, and then they I, tell all these lies. Like they make you think there's a clitoris. They make you think that girls orgasm, and yeah. you, it's hard to know what's true and what's not after a while. The ultimate yeah. prank on men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Clitoris. Where is female it? orgasm and other myths back <laughs> <laughs> by Doctor John Kellogg or whatever the fuck that guy's up to in the early turn of the century? Yeah, I think that all pussies have some yeast in there. Uh, oh, I mean, yeah. I, you, you know, they they do. It's just even on when, their best day, it's in there a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's a, uh, it's kind of like keeping, a, a living it's like an aquarium. Organism. It's like an aquarium. Like an aquarium. How you you got to keep, keep your bacteria the pH. and balance. Sure. Yes, mm -hmm. that's exactly yeah. it. You got to keep the pH just right. Um, you know, so that you don't get any 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 odor, or or, or it doesn't get too sour. Sometimes it'll be so acidic that like I'll shave the base of my cock and maybe have like a little razor burn there, and then her acidic pussy will like burn my dick. And it's like oh, 
Damn. Need to, need to uh. Shock that thing. It's yeah. Just, like, Jesus. I see. You get a little chlorine in that bitch. A little orange juice pussy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nothing's yeah, it looks getting like out of there. You know, this is gross. It says it's going to be used to, used to make sour ales and porters. Or I want some sort of ginger beer. Look, look amaranth is Ooh, yeah. incredibly, a ginger incredibly beer? fucking hot. Um, but but I don't want her pussy yeast beer. That's just disgusting. I don't want her bath water either. I just want to stick my dick in her. Like, like I don't know why people got to get so weird about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just be an adult and <laughs> and think about fucking her, you know, like an, like an adult. Don't think, oh, the next closest thing, because I won't be able to fuck her, is drinking her vaginal yeast sour <laughs> ale. Which, by the way, is there, a, is there a grosser kind of beer than a sour ale? Dude, I, yeah. I don't like beer. There's yeah, no Bud there's, Light. My boys and I would never drink that. I'd rather drink <laughs> a Bud Light any day of the yeah. week than a yeah. sour ale. Those are beers where you have it and you're like, mm, oh, why, why are people pretending to like this? This well, sucks. The, I don't the only like good sour. beers are the ciders. I, I don't even think it's really beer, but it, it passes as beer socially. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're so I agree. Sweet. I, I just want a malted. I don't understand the whole point. I just don't get it. We're dosing ourselves and, and like the whole alcohol thing and the ritual of, of the, the various kinds of mixed drinks is so fucking stupid to me. Like, like I, I just really don't get it. I really don't. Like how the good ones are just for girls. Well, no. All right. Look, we're here to get drunk. So what we're all trying to do is numb our got our brains with 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 a drug called alcohol. Mm. And mm -hmm. most people want to take this backwards, floofy version of like, oh, maybe I'll drink it, but first I'll drink like 800 calories of coconut and pineapple and sugar and grenadine. And and can you crack an egg in this bitch to make it like give it some volume? Like, no, get get out of there. There should be Tabasco in there. Look, I like Bloody Marys, but what are we actually here for? Let's start with two straight shots of vodka so the Bloody Mary tastes good. How about that? That's what I'm about. I want to show, I want to pregame if I'm going somewhere yeah. to drink. First of all, you're, you're a very when I show up, drinker. I'm showing up buzzed. I'm I'm getting out of the car after like having a couple, <laughs> right? Like I'm in a pregame. Do you know how much alcohol costs? He doesn't mean what he says, officer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it. Oh, I mean, the, the cops alcohol, like, do you see that guy? There are open That's pretty cool. in my car right now. I, yeah, I that guy really saved live. a lot of money by getting drunk at home first. <laughs> yes. That's, he's I a smart God, shopper. That's all being a smart consumer. <laughs> yes. But, but I just shopping. hate the idea that, like, I don't know, like drinking six beers to mm. slowly get drunk, and I'm not gonna, I'm not really sure when it's going to happen. Like, I want to be drunk right now, and I, the <laughs> amount is very. Like, yeah. the amount is very. I don't want to be a little drunk. I want to be impaired. That's what we're aiming for. So yeah. just give me the amount. You would never treat a headache that way, or or, or like or like a, you, but or I, anything else. You guys help me out. Give me, what is the give alcohol? Me eight drink? milligrams. <laughs> give me yeah, an eight like milligram a drip of ibuprofen. <laughs> you put a shot of it in a beer, and maybe it tastes a little bit like root beer. It reacts when you drop it in. Oh, you're talking and, about a boiler oh, maker. like uh, an Irish car bomb, or shit. I didn't think it was either of those. Or a Red know, Bull but, vodka, where you drop, where you drop the shot, and like, bomb. yeah, that's a Jaeger bomb, and they don't. It's not like a whole glass of Red Bull. Maybe that's I am a, thinking of a Jaeger bomb. So you're just but, talking about a beverage in general, where you've got one big drink and you drop a small drink in it. Yes. Yeah, and it reacts, and you taste it quickly, and it vaguely reminds you of like something that sucks less, maybe root beer, or licorice, or something, well, and uh, eh, it gets it done too. I, haven't I think a either. boiler maker is just. Yeah, a shot of there? like Jameson dropped in a in, a, in like a, a Budweiser or something, and then you know the uh, the Jaeger bomb is what we used to drink. Uh, all a boiler the time. maker is a shot of whiskey. In is there an beer. egg? Uh, I've seen an egg added. You drop a shot. You pour a shot of whiskey into your beer, then chug it. So it actually sounds worse than a regular beer by a lot. I'm, yeah, but you're getting hammered right away. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever I had an Irish car bomb? It's Is like it Jameson and, and yeah, it's like Guinness. Guinness. It's like a pint of Guinness, and then it's a shot of I've never Jameson done that, no. with uh, what the fuck is the Irish cream in there too? And like the second you drop the the shot into your Guinness, it the cream starts like curdling, and so you have to drink it so quickly or within like. 15 seconds it's just See, the problem and looking is awful. i don't they're like, they're dis they are disgusting yeah uh get i one of my uh roommates drank guinness he liked those thick black dark 
yeah ot beers lower and, calorie beer than you think by the way jesus christ yeah. it looked like he was eating a loaf of bread in there and hmm. i hated that shit I, I had a sip of his and that's when i decided i would never enjoy guinness it's like this yeah guinness so dark i can't see through it <laughs> what is not, this guinness isn't good i don't like any dark beer no like all the dark beers are gross the sour beers are gross Again, just like, I just I just yeah. want to like I want like a sh uh, like a injector. I want a syringe full of grain alcohol that I can <laughs> shoot into the back <laughs> of my throat. Like if I could vape alcohol, I would. You know what I mean? Like like I, yeah. I have no interest in this as a beverage. It doesn't make anything taste better than it already did. It is it only it, it it's always a negative flavor wise. Yeah, well, and you're right. It never really adds any unless you put it in food. Vodka sauce is great. I don't know how vodka improves that pasta sauce, but vodka sauce is delicious. Well, the alcohol I guess, burns I guess all, Yeah, all the alcohol burns the same way that like burgundy mushrooms. You can hate red wine with every fiber of your being and then have some burgundy mushrooms next to your steak. Delicious. I don't Fantastic. often cook with alcohol because I don't usually have alcohol in my house to cook with. It's like I'm not going to go buy a bottle of red wine to do this sauce or, or whatever. I'm surprised. I always thought it was people like, like scavenging, trying to make alcohol into something that didn't suck like i'm gonna put beer on this sausage it's like no it it doesn't make it better your oh. vodka spaghetti sauce is stupid all these things are bad no, no just me no I, I i disagree like because all the alcohol cooks away so like when in french cooking when they add like white wine or red wine or whatever like you're just getting the good flavor part that like makes the mushrooms better or the pasta. Oh, the good flavor part of wine. You're usually deglazing <laughs> yeah. the pan. Well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That... You're deglazing the pan. Because well, I, I really don't like off. wine either, but I love mm -hmm. like a lot of dishes, like if it's made with wine. Because like if you're, if you're tasting a bunch of alcohol, it's because some retard cooking it didn't cook away the alcohol and they like didn't like let it reduce Have enough, been... right? Probably my yeah. bias coming through. Yeah. I, I just don't. I. I... I noticed that fancy chefs cook with a lot of alcohol, but I usually don't because mm. I don't You're like the taste of alcohol. Man. I'll never forget the time me, Woody, and Joe Lozon were at that fondue place, and I was so excited for that cheese dip. It looked good, Taylor. She she melted one fantastic cheese after another in mm -hmm. that vessel, in that cauldron, right before our eyes, and we had these yeah. fancy baguettes and and all these things to dip in there. This this delicious bread that was going to be it was going to sop up that cheese. Yeah. One gouda and fucking cheddar and fucking this cheddar was bred in a cave in mongolia throw it in too and I, and just when I, my mouth's watering and just when we we're getting ready to start sopping up some of that cheesy goodness fondue time she upends a whole goddamn liter of beer mm -hmm. <laughs> into the fucking cheese well you clearly beer ordered cheese. beer cheese off well, the menu i, I, I did think not we ordered some sort of variety pack and, yeah. and i didn't know beer was coming either and all like of Kyle, our faces yeah, I don't think anyone because Joe doesn't drink. Joe doesn't thing. drink. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it cooks away. Like you're not getting any alcohol. It's just like thinning the because like I've done no, that at fondue what. places. The no. beer cheese is good. It do, it doesn't make the you cheese can't worse. Cook away five percent alcohol out of a. She put a whole beer in a in a in a in a bucket of cheese. It tasted like beer. It was okay, awful. well it, it sounds like too. she didn't do that a was good part job. Of my issue because the, it when made I it went unattractive. When I went to the melting pot a couple years so ago and they put beer in there, I get okay, it was not a whole beer. It was not even a You whole have a can different beer. relationship with beer than we do too. It was just a Yeah, but like you don't need to enjoy the If I told beer. you, Taylor, I I, right, I peed in it, but it burns off. Like you're not getting <laughs> the urea. You're just getting the tasty parts of my urine. I'm just then you might the, understand where I'm coming from. I'm just getting the ammonia. Yeah. I mean, also, like, what did they not list the ingredients of the cheese at the restaurant? I feel Dude, like this I is don't an oversight on it. It's 12 them. years ago, but I'm just yeah. saying, I'm still salty about it. That bitch. I I, <laughs> I guarantee if I guarantee I was for a no tip on that one. I I, I bet I bet I said something about it. <laughs> I think I the reason they hungry. actually put beer in that cheese is because if we, you we, don't, we had it to go to a second it's dinner. Not dippable. We left that place we and went to a, to a second, second dinner. dinner. <laughs> yeah. Where'd you go the second time? A steak restaurant. Yeah, like, a, like, like we went and got like a we weren't like a fucking coffee. around. We went to two expensive restaurants that <laughs> night. <laughs> did, well, we okay. did was. After okay, that I and would be Woody upset. Woody was gonna beat up the taxi driver. I remember that. <laughs> Woody, Wait. I'm pretty sure I remember you threatening that. You're like you're going the wrong way. I don't remember that. Oh, I might be. 
I, I do it, remember it an incident in L.A. with a like limo driver or something, yeah, but not was, the cool kind of limo. The vans they call. One of us was something. very upset with our driver that was taking us to the second restaurant. I remember that. Um, mm. But but yeah, fuck that fondue place and their beer cheese. Fuck beer getting poured in or on anything to to make it better. Maybe on a bratwurst on a grill or something. But it, that's just you're just Putting making fancy beer steam. in those uh, in those chickens, making the fancy steam. I don't put understand. Dr. Pepper I in still... that bitch. Here's put a Dr Pepper, the, the full sugar Dr Pepper. Tell me a thousand times better. Yeah, Kyle for president. Taylor, Could be. you're losing. <laughs> I'll put a, a root beer or a, or a fucking mm-hmm. like like vanilla cream soda. Inside of like a, mm, up a pig's ass, black you want a vanilla cream soda in a chicken. You want a Budweiser? I Almost? love vanilla cream. I love vanilla cream soda, <laughs> but I wouldn't waste it on UFC. That. Just signed a big deal with uh with with uh Bud, Bud Light. Light. Yeah, yeah. And Dana's yeah. like not backing. Down. He's like all those people are fucking morons for not drinking Bud Light. He's like he's not. Yeah, I know two sides of the story. He's just like fuck you if you don't like Bud Light. Bud Light's my my new payday. Well, he, he's. I saw a hundred million dollars. He better be full throated pro Bud yeah. Light for all, for yeah. nine figures. Yeah. Someone pays you nine figures, and they're like, "How do you like the product?" You can't be love like, it. Eh. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's kind of gay. <laughs> I just thought I was a little brave, like you know, because he's they're like wanting to boycott the UFC now. They're, they're, some conservatives, anyway, are like, "Yeah, you line up with Bud Light, then you don't line up with me. I'm out." And Dana White's like, "You're a fucking idiot." I doubt it. I doubt it impacts their UFC viewership, but I I don't know. I I, I would. It's weird. Usually I think of these boycotts as a very temporary thing with no lasting impact, but Bud Lights has been persistent. Yeah. Bud Light is destroyed. Like their, their facings and every major retailer. Kyle called it like, like maybe two, three weeks afterward. If that, I think I was like, Oh, it'll blow over. And Kyle was like, no, it's a, it's like a meme. It's a joke. Like people are going out of their way not to have it at barbecues and things because they don't want to mm-hmm. get razzed about it because it's like, oh, you're drinking the gay beer. I'll have a Coors Light, not a Bud Light because they don't want to pay me nothing. And then maybe later on, I'll go home, lay on my wife for a little while. How about that? <laughs>